The blade is there to guard those boundaries. Here's my license. Why don't you come and get it? Drop the knife. Fuck you. Hello and welcome to this educational video presentation on how to become a sovereign citizen. It is our hope that at the end of this, you will have all the information necessary to live as a free man. Now wait a minute, I hear you asking. What is a sovereign citizen? Well, simply looking at the etymology of the word gives you a better idea of what it is. Basically, it's living the life that Jesus and George Washington wanted you to live. And by paying close attention as we go step by step, you're going to understand how to exercise your rights, recognize your rights, and deal with law enforcement on the scene. Did you know that most people are unfamiliar with the fact that police officers are child-hating baby rapists? It's true. Would you take a ticket from a baby rapist? I certainly wouldn't. And after this video, you won't either. So enough with the introductions. Let's get into the video. Am I being detained? What's that? Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Are you Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Am I being detained? These four simple words are all you need to remember when you encounter a police officer. They act as a constitutional ward against being arrested. In fact, when a police officer hears you say, am I being detained? They are legally obligated to leave you alone, no matter what the circumstance. However, occasionally you're going to run into a police officer that does not follow the color of the law. Okay, I hear what you're saying, but uh, there's no law that states I need a driver's license to uh, drive a, a vehicle. I need to see your license and proof of insurance, sir. Can you prove that I'm driving? Remember, your typical police officer is mentally handicapped. Because they are so incredibly retarded, barely 90% of the national police force is capable of reading. That's 90% illiterate. Asking them a question will confuse them long enough for you to leave the scene. If that doesn't work, try jingling some keys in their face. They love to play with shiny things. But let's say, for the sake of argument, that the police officer still has not left you alone. You're going to need to explain to him that you are a free man, and that free men travel. They don't drive. It's just, sir, I don't feel that I've done anything wrong. I'm just a traveler. I'm trying to travel. I just dropped my daughter off at school. I'm just trying to, trying to travel back home. Am I driving? Yes, sir. No, I'm not. I'm traveling. This is my automobile that I travel in whenever I feel like traveling. And this is my homemade plate, which I have made. Now, these three simple rules, am I being detained? I am not driving a vehicle, I am a traveler, are usually enough to get you out of any situation, whether it be a high-speed chase or a double homicide. But just to be safe, always ask them for a business card. Okay, I don't have to tell you anything. Really? Yeah, you don't know how it works, do you? Let no, me see your, I don't. Let me see your card or something with uh, your name. I'm going to give you my name. In fact, I'm going to okay. put it on the parking ticket after I tow your truck away. I need business cards. I need business cards. I need your business card, though. I need your business card. He's giving you a card right here. I need your business card. Who are you? We're from the Sheriff's Department. Uh, yeah, who are you? Sheriff's Department. Who are you? Um, and of course, the most important thing to remember, they don't have jurisdiction over you. Let me see your hand! Who are you? The police, come here! No, I, I, I'm not in your, your jurisdiction. I'm in my own jurisdiction. Don't, don't pull that gun out on me. You have no jurisdiction over me, okay? You're in my jurisdiction. You're in my jurisdiction, okay? I don't I don't do what you say. I'm a, I'm a king. Kings don't take orders, all right? That's right. He's a king. In fact, all sovereigns are kings in their own right. Now that we've learned these five essential bullet points, let's take a look at some real life examples and see what they did and did differently. Nope, I'm leaving. Don't get in front of me. You're pulling your gun on me? Okay, he's pulling his gun on me, everybody. I have not done anything criminally wrong. He's pulling his gun on me. No. No. It's off. Parking brakes on. I'm no threat. I'm no threat. They're pointing their guns at me. Just because I don't have the right plates on my car. That's why. You guys don't have this authority. You're going to break my window. Don't. I'll open my door. Don't. Ow. Asshole. What the hell? Get out of the car now. Okay. They just broke my glass. See that? Beautiful. Good job. Get out of the I'm fucking car out. now. I have nothing on me. Oh, you're going to cut me. Don't. I'll open the door. You're going to cut me. You're going to cut me. 
This man has done nothing wrong. He was simply trying to travel directly into a police officer with his vehicle. How is that illegal? Um, but we told you he's an Article 4 free inhabitant, so he does not have to have a license. Article 4 free inhabitant pursuant to the Articles of Confederation. You can look it up. It's in the United States Book of Codes. It is your laws you have to follow. I'm going to get out of the car and walk down to that house. No, you are not free to leave right now. Uh, you Are you saying you have authority over me? Yes, I do. You have proven authority over me? Yes, I do. How did you do that? The County of Imperial through the sheriff. All right, well, you're not free to leave. I'm, I, I, you're no. going to take the bag off. No, no, I'm you're not. You're going to take the bag off. No, I'm not. You're not sure. Hey, this is, you're Relax. raping me. This, right. is rape. this is rape. This is rape. This is rape. Now this is some advanced level sovereign citizenry. Not only did this young lady remember to mention the Articles of Confederation, she also screamed rape, which is what you should always do anytime a police officer touches you. It's your God-given constitutional right. I have reason to believe that crime is afoot because I can smell marijuana coming from this vehicle. Do you understand that? Do you comprehend article? I have a lawful reason to get you out of the vehicle. You do not. Yes, open up the vehicle. No. I would like to see, I would like to see your supervisor. Are you violating my space? Are you kidding me? Help! 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 I do not consent! I do not consent! No, you do not. And you do not smell marijuana. I don't smell any marijuana. Oh, it reeked of marijuana. No, it doesn't. I keep from, I can we don't smell any marijuana anywhere. Are you assaulting me? You're assaulting him. We do not Help! 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 Call, call the police! Call the police! Sure, we are the police. No! 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 You're trying to attack my nuts! That is not proper use of that device! Stop it! Have please. you been trained? Improper use of a taser! Another man having his rights abused. That officer did not smell marijuana. The driver told him so. And then to tase him in the balls? What is he thinking? What you may have, I'm giving you a lawful order. what you may have, what you may have, what you may have is, is the opportunity to read. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is assault. This is assault. You've broken my windows. I do not consent. I do not consent. Remember, never consent, especially after they've broken your window and are dragging you out of your car for non-compliance. That is the exact moment that you want to start to resist. It is a smart decision. That's fine. Y'all are going. Uh, I need to see your driver's license. Please. Then we have another cop pulling up, and I'm Sir. sitting here asking Sir. them the same what thing. I need name? you to stand down and get your. Open your window now, or I'm gonna bust it out. Now you're now you're going. Okay, I need you to call, and I need you to get your supervisor Sir, out here. I need your picture. supervisor out here. I need your supervisor. I am asking for. I I am asking him for his supervisor. I am asking you for your supervisor. Hey, okay, officer. I am asking you for your supervisor to come out here. Now you have busted my vehicle up, and now you are going to detain me. You are illegally getting into my vehicle, and now you have taken my car. Always ask for a supervisor, even as they're breaking your window. It just makes sense. We've learned quite a bit in part one. Let's review. Am I being detained? I am not driving a vehicle. I am a traveler. You don't have authority over me. Can I get your business card? Call your supervisor. I do not consent. The Articles of Confederation say you can fuck yourself and rape. Knowing these handy phrases and when to use them will almost certainly always get you arrested. But that's not the point. Being a sovereign citizen is about standing up for your rights, even if you're standing in a jail cell, which is more than likely where you're going to be standing, which leads us right into Section 2. Sir, today I'm appearing as the agent and settler for David Hall. Okay. Okay. Could you get Mr. Hall for me then, sir? Where is he? I go by that name, sir. My name sounds exactly like the defendant's, and I'm here to settle that matter today. So are you and David Hall one and the same person? I'm not a person. I'm an individual. David Hall is a person. Okay. I am are the agent to that Are you and David name. Hall one and the same individual? I go by the name David Hall, sir, and okay. I'm here about that matter today. Okay. So, so you go by the name David Hall. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, 
the person who goes by the name of David Hall is standing in front I'm of the you. individual. You're I am an individual, individual, not a person. You're not a person. Yes, sir. David Hall is a person. I am a private individual. David Hall is a person under color of law, sir. Okay. Where's David Hall then? The person David Hall. He exists on paper, sir. David Hall is a corporation. Okay. This action is under color of law, sir, and I do understand that. I am here in my real capacity as the private individual for that name, okay, and I'm here about that matter. You're the, and private, I'm happy to settle you're the private individual, David Hall. I'm the settler, sir. You're the settler, I'm the settler. David Hall. Always remember, never show up to court as the person or corporation that you are. Only as a settler, agent, or individual. That is an amateur mistake and one that will cost you dearly. I am secured party under a UCC filing at the Secretary of State, 201-308-717-006. Okay. I am secured party to David Hall on the record and, sec and uh, through a filing at the Secretary of State, sir. I appear here today as the settler, agent, not the person, but the individual. And I, I, I don't think I should have, you understand the so difference the between a person and an individual. Agent, and you're the individual, but you're not the person. Is that correct? Correct. May, may I make a correction, sir? Go ahead, sir. Yes, I'm traveling. You, you said that, you, said that uh, you, you used the term driving, and I was traveling, sir. Always make sure that the courtroom is aware that you were not driving. You were traveling. They need to read the Articles of Confederation and the Constitution. Try to have a copy handy on you. It helps. What do you For the think record, your remedy my is? remedy is being denied. For the record, I am the real individual, and this action is under color of law, and I don't understand this color of law action. Okay. Well, have a nice day. Thank you. It looks like the judge left the courtroom. Do you know what that means? That's right. You win. We're going to take a recess. Thank you. Thank you. All right. How long? How long, sir? I don't, I don't have all day, thank you. I have things to do. <coughs> we'll take the court. Yeah, actually, uh, please note that the judge has abandoned the court. He's <coughs> abandoned ship. And I, as the sovereign in this room, clerk, claim authority, case dismissed, with cause and prejudice. Any time a judge vacates a courtroom for any reason whatsoever, it is a default judgment in your favor. Congratulations, you're not going to prison. You are not God. You have no jurisdiction over me. God's not worried about cameras, sir. I am. All right. Well, why are you worried about cameras? Because you want to do something against wrong? Because you want to do something wrong? Because if, if it's against the rules, that means it's because somebody intends on wronging somebody else because they're afraid of being held accountable. P. Barnes. It's a nice speech, but you're still not coming in. Well, on occasion, you're going to encounter hired thugs known as bailiffs in a courthouse. They are fraudulent and have zero authority. You can disregard anything they say and there will be no consequences whatsoever. Please step aside. I'm going in. No, you're not going in. Don't touch me. You're not going in, sir. Let the record show that you just battered me. Step back. And you're using... Oh! Oh! A few other important details to remember as a sovereign citizen being taken to court. You are never at fault. Nobody knows the law as well as you do. The police officers are incompetent. The judges are incompetent. The bailiffs are incompetent. You are a genius, and you need to let them know that every single opportunity you get. Coming up on tape two, we're going to discuss how to use your body as collateral to pay off your debts. Never owe anybody money ever again, because we're going to teach you how the U.S. Treasury works. Um, I'm going to send my first accepted for value today. A lot of people across the world have been sending these um, in to pay bills with effectively their signature by accessing their treasury bond account that was created with their birth certificate. Get away from here! Get out of my house! Drop the razor! Drop it! Stop! What he's telling you is, don't invade my space or I'll attack you. Hello, and welcome back to Sovereign Citizens 101. Congratulations on having completed tape number one in our educational, informational video series, in which you learned how to deal with law enforcement on the scene, judges in a courthouse, and court-appointed employees. However, as any good sovereign citizen knows, the law is only one way in which the government tries to inhibit your ability to live as a free man. Over the course of this presentation, you're going to learn about the financial side of it, as we cover maritime admiralty laws, 
bonded birth certificates and accepted for value. So what do you say? Let's begin our journey to financial independence. All ships are named after females. Ships give birth at the dock. Your mom gave birth at the dock. Your mom had contractions, put you under a secret contract. And she goes to the maternity ward, which automatically makes you a ward of the state. You know, it's a foreign embassy. Hospitals are built on, on, on foreign embassies. You come down the birth canal, water. You have a navel, your belly button, all water. Two people have come together as a partnership and created a product under Maritime Admiralty Law. Maritime Admiralty Law is what's known as the Law of the Water. Let's look at how and why a form of law that is fashioned to govern corporations, businesses, and vessels has imposed its rule over natural human beings. This is all done through a form of word magic. The Barron's Dictionary of Banking Terms defines a certificate as a paper establishing an ownership claim. So right there, we notice that everyone with a birth certificate is defined as being owned. People are used as collateral with other nations because the U.S. is bankrupt. That's correct. We are living under a maritime admiralty law system in which your parents were tricked into giving birth to a seafaring vessel, all because the United States is bankrupt. But it's much more insidious than that. The United States, the country, or whatever, what everybody thinks is a country, is actually a corporation. They're a bankrupt corporation, and they've, in order to uh, stay in, in business, and it is a business, um, they had to put up some collateral in 1933 after they already put up the collateral for the states and, and the federal government, uh, the sovereignty for that. Um, so what they did is they made you into a corporation. They brought in um, what's called international maritime law, or the law of the water. They drew the water lines back. After 1933, the United States stopped being a nation and became a corporation, a bankrupt corporation that used the water level to dictate how we'd go forward financially. But why would they do this? The banks control the currency. It goes back to the water, but always everything in water. The banks control the currency of the, of the water. The word liberty means permission to leave the ship. The word arrest means to hold a ship in its port. Go Vern Mint, you know. Vern is green. Go to the green mind is what go government means. It's abracadabra. Expecto disappointment because we are living in a slave system in which we are chattel. But how can we fight back? How do we take down this bankrupt corporation known as the United States of America. Well, the first step is in understanding what a bonded birth certificate is. Now, most birth certificates in most countries, in fact, in all countries, are used as bonds. That human capital, it can be used as a fungible instrument that can go into a private placement program. You can get your birth certificate monetized. You do not have to be a wage earner and do your 40 hours a week slavery routine. You don't have to do that. You heard correctly, folks. You can monetize your birth certificate. Think of your life as a television show in which you can place ads wherever you like. But let's go into more detail. Just how much debt can you wipe out with your birth certificate? You can definitely wipe out your, your uh, any debt whether it's judgments, lawsuits, credit card debt, child support debt, um, traffic tickets, anything, any violation, any charges with your birth certificate. Why is that? Okay. Let me begin with this interesting blog that my friend Yarrow has posted on Facebook. They always want your signature. Why? Because that has a lien on that. Okay. They put a lien on that signature and they've already done that. And that signature is worth millions or billions of dollars. I mean, I don't even want to get to that. I would say limitless, because we're limitless. Why is that, you're probably asking. It's because we come from the earth. We come from the earth. And how you're able to forgive their debt, their debt, is by signing it with your golden signature. I bet you didn't know your signature was golden, earth child, but it is. You are worth millions and billions of U.S. dollars. So how do we take that capital 
under maritime admiralty laws to pay off debts to the IRS and our living expenses? Well, it's quite simple actually. We use accepted for value. Accepted for value is, is basically using your birth certificate bond that they created when you, a few days after you was born, the, the government has been using for collateral is you're going to take that and you're going to discharge all of the debt that you're in. If you want to do it for any sort of bank loan, you could do it. If you want to do it for your credit card, your debit card, you could do it. Student loans, I discovered it works for that as well. Amazing, isn't it? I bet all this time you were using your money from hard-earned labor to pay off your debts and bills. Well, worry no more because you can cast aside your financial responsibilities by following these simple steps. Now this is going to be a print overlay. You're going to have this on your computer and then you're just going to print this onto whatever bills you have and then you can just send them out. It's a great little handy way to do it. And then you have the line to sign it and then you have uh, something else to write money order. Okay, accepted for value. Right here you're going to put a line and you're going to leave that line there because this is where you're going to sign it and date it in blue. Now you're going to put your all cap name, okay? So, um, uh, I'll use the Jack Rabbit name, okay? You're going to put Jack Rabbit E-X-E-M-P-T number. Who cares if I spell it right? As long as you guys get your bills paid, right? The Social Security number, not your Social Security number. The Social Security number with um, without dashes. I've already got my bill printed out. I've got this overlay on it. All right, now I'm going to put money order. All right, I'm going to write it on there somewhere, okay? That is my order to pay money whenever there happens to be some money available because there isn't any money. They took all our money in 1933. Unlimited wealth is yours and you don't even need all three of the primary colors, just red and blue. By writing this on any bill which comes in your name, you can easily dismiss and discharge, offset that debt. Except for value. Accepting for value, returning for value, slash returning for settlement. Notice to agent is notice to principal. Notice to principal is notice to agent. Notice of tender for set off. If for any reason you do not understand any of these statements or warnings, it is incumbent upon you to summon a superior officer, special prosecutor, a federal judge, or any other competent legal counsel who immediately explain the significance of this presentment as per your duties, obligations, and respect to this private, pri private and public securities instrument. Service by any other manner will be deemed effective on its face. Executed by King this 20th day of March 2012, this is my will, let it be said, let it be done. Well, clearly, this was a lot to take in. We've learned quite a few things. The United States is a bankrupt corporation who, fearing their inability to pay their own debts, decided to use maritime admiralty laws to declare you a shipping vessel and then use your birth certificate as collateral in trades with international entities such as other nations and corporations. But by understanding this, you can use your own bonded birth certificate to pay off any and all of your debts by simply writing on any envelope or bill that comes to your house, accepted for value. By understanding each of these things on this list, you can take back control of your life, you can implement word magic, and you can be financially independent. This officer is dead. Why? Very simply, he wasn't prepared. Hello and welcome back once again to Sovereign Citizens 101, the educational, informational, home study course. In tape number one, we learned how to deal with the police as well as the judicial system. In tape number two, we learned about financial freedom and how to use our birth certificate and social security number to pay every and all debts we have. But it's one thing to have the information, it's another to live it. And in tape number three, we're going to be looking at a profile in Courage. We're going to be studying under the mastership of Winston Shroud. Mr. Shroud, a worldwide recognized speaker on sovereign citizenship and self-made businessman who offers solutions in commerce, a private lecturing tour and online educational series, has dedicated himself to living the dream. 
And I think that's a life you and I both can agree. We all want to participate in. So join me on this journey into learning how to live the best life, how to live the free life, how to live as a sovereign citizen. The only, the only reason why anybody is in jail is because they didn't pay their debt. So if you take the court case, the order, whatever it is, accept it for value, return it back to the party, which would be the clerk of the court, and the clerk of the court does not supply a check for you, your endorsement, they are in default, they're in dishonor. So we're going to accept it for value and do all these things to it, but then we're going to charge it to the party that created the bill. Because once it's charged, now the interest can be returned to the principal and you get a zero balance. Because th this paper process of affidavits and, and liens and all this kind of stuff, this is a substitute for the dueling field. Any of you ever fought a duel? We used, we used to get presentments from the IRS and they wouldn't send the check. And so we used to write back to them and say, thank you very much for the, what you sent to me, but you didn't send me the check. Well, after, after, after a period of time, they started sending the check. Huh? They do. Yeah, it's on there. All right. <clears throat> Do you doubt my word? Who said that, huh? When somebody sends you a, a piece of paper, they got numbers on it, names and all that kind of stuff going on, and you accept it, it turns that piece of paper into currency. Well, those are some important pieces of information. The only reason people go to jail is because they didn't pay their debt. All bills that exist, all debts that exist, the financial system itself is merely a proxy for dueling. And let's not forget, last but not least, if you receive a notification that you owe a debt, they need to give you the money to give to them. How are you supposed to pay a bill if you don't have the money to pay it? Now try not to be overwhelmed with this new world of financial freedom. Luckily, Winston Shroud offers courses for you to get this information and to absorb it. For a nominal fee, you can become a member of his website and study under the master. With a legal expert like Winston Shroud, that's money well spent. Uh, again, I, I very seldom ever look in the, what you call the law books. I look and see what's happening. I look and see what's going on. And that's what I base what I do on. Not so much what's written in the statutes and codes. So adding on to what he shared, then we don't need to do our declaratory judgment. We don't have all this prep work to do prior to doing no, acceptance well. for value. Anybody on the street down here can do this. Anybody on the street, go find them. Anybody can do this. And they'll accept it. You already accepted. You did the acceptance. It's, it's your signature that, that creates the, fa the faith and confidence in this thing. We just did this for a traffic ticket. Did the, we didn't do the deposit thing. And I, uh, we didn't get it back from the city because we, he had one from the city, too. I haven't heard anything back from them, but we did this, this type of thing. And what we got back from, um, no, I guess it was a city attorney. The city attorney came and sent it back, sent the ticket back. But Jim, I hear you asking, that's all well and good if you want to pay a parking ticket or have the DA send the charges back to you. But what about the more in-depth information? I'm not just looking to pay off a credit card or a delinquent bank account. Now, th this is the illusion. This is the illusion. Because the birth certificate is not a birth certificate, it's a death certificate. That's what it is. How do we know it's a death certificate? Because it's a tombstone. How do we know it's a tombstone? Because if you look on, if you look on the birth certificate, what's it going to have? It's going to have John Doe on there. If you go out to the cemetery and look on the tombstone, what's it going to have on there? So that's why we say that the birth certificate itself is the death certificate because the entity on the birth certificate is the same entity that's on the tombstone. 
when a child is brought into this world and breathes the breath of life, the mother delivers the baby into the state official's hands, who is known as a medical doctor. Uh, following that delivery, uh, an application is filled out by the mother wherein she makes an application for a live birth. And so so that application for a birth is the entrance of the baby into the admiralty. All of these all capital letter acronyms or names, as it were, are all the same party. In other words, this entity right here is the same as United States is the same as IBM is the same as uh, Safeway or wherever you shop for your groceries. So they're all joined at the hip. They're all the same party. And so what, what, what is done to one is done to all. That's right. Your baby is an admiral, and his birth certificate is really a tombstone. Luckily, all names are interchangeable with one another, and so we all live in a graveyard. And so your baby admiral, IBM, is sailing the land sea of the country, which he also is, because baby admiral equals the United States. And as our sovereign citizen legal expert, Winston Shroud, has pointed out, how can you violate yourself? You can't. You owe no debts to anyone. You're accountable to no laws, because you, in fact, are the law, the instrument of the law, and the enforcement of it. But these sorts of high-level concepts can be difficult to comprehend, especially if you're stuck in a third-dimensional mindset. So you had a little bit of exposure already to some of these other dimensional thinkings and so forth, so I thought I'd proceed today uh, with a uh, continuation of that thought process. Look, folks... If you can ever get out of the third dimension, get into the fourth dimensional thinking, you know, you'll realize that all this stuff we do is silly. I, I, I've basically been a fourth dimensional thinker for as long as I can remember. I can't remember being a third dimensional thinker. For instance, uh, you know, when I lecture, do something like that, uh, you know, I'm speaking from a fourth, fifth, or sixth dimensional level, and then the people hear it, at whatever position they are, and then as they listen to it more and more and more and more, then they start to... Here's a piece of paper. Look here. Here's a piece of paper. Looks pretty big, don't it, until you put it this way. Now you say, well, there's not much to that. You start to, you know... Now, so so this, this is a two-dimensional thing here. So, you know, it's got all kinds of things on here, you know, that describe some concept. And so, so but anyway, th th this is a, uh, basically a third dimensional concept. Now, uh, how, how do we take this into, into the third dimension? As for instance, you know, people say, well, I, you know, I just did accept it for value. I sent it off over here to bank, you know, ABC Bank, all that kind of stuff. They didn't do nothing about it. And I said, yeah, well, did you call them? Did you talk to them about it? You know, that kind of thing. And so, again, what, what you sent them was in the second dimension. It's not even third dimension what you did, see? So you send them second dimension stuff, expecting third dimension results. And so perhaps when you start talking about third dimensional, at least in respect to these, then you need to start talking about talk, which is actually sonic. And so, so to get the results that we want, sometimes we have to go and talk about it. So you can talk about it. So now you can start to inject energy through sonic transmission. I have a friend who's a natural healer, very, very successful at it. And uh, one, of the, one of the techniques that he uses is called toning. He, he will actually vocally uh, emit uh, sonic vibrations at a certain frequency. I mean, he'll just... <laughs> the last time he did it to me, man, you know, the hair on my arms was standing up and I was doing this here. See how simple it is when you really think about it? 
By using your sonic force, your supernatural vocalizations, you can turn that two-dimensional object into a three-dimensional concept with your fourth-dimensional thinking. And if you study and practice hard enough, one day you'll truly ascend to the fifth or sixth dimension. It truly takes a special sort of person to truly believe this, to not let themselves be held back by petty concepts like reality. All right. <clears throat> As I mentioned, we went and did that seminar in London in 2009, and I had prior to that time, I had been emailing with a lady uh, who lived in England who was, in fact, uh, the queen of the fairies. And she's an incarnate fairy. So I'll just launch right into it. It has to do with uh, what we would call the dark cabals or the Illuminati's. Or... Over a period of time, we developed uh, your friendship. And then she opened up to me and, and uh, demonstrated that she's also a very powerful shaman. But as I uh, studied more and more about uh, uh, mind control <clears throat> and uh, satanic ritual abuse, and by that time, I learned just how powerful she was because she had demonstrated it to me in several ways. And so I asked her, I said, uh, <clears throat> are you capable of moving the prime meridian over to the dragon rose line? Now, the dragon rose line is the one that's in that Da Vinci Code movie, you know, Dan Brown and Tom yeah. Hanks and running around, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so it's not very far over there from the they're in England. And what they found out uh, years ago uh, was that if, if they traumatized a, uh, a new baby, a new infant. So I said, can you move that over? She said, yep. And I said, well, move it. She said, okay. And she told me that when she does things on the ether, it generally takes three days to materialize in the physical world. So we weren't, I wasn't expecting anything. But anyway, the next day on Skype, she was hot to get me on Skype. You know, she said, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I said, what's that? She said, if I hadn't been watching, I wouldn't have seen it. She said, but from about 8 o'clock in the morning until 3 in the afternoon, she said, time stood still. What better source of knowledge for how to deal with legal situations or paying off debt to the IRS or creditors than Mr. Shroud, ally to the Queen of the Fairies? Not even the Dark Cabals or the Illuminati can use their mind control satanic magic to prevent you from learning these tips and tricks. Tips and tricks which are available in these affordable DVDs. For just a few hundred dollars a piece, you too can learn all the information necessary to deal with tax debt, credit debt, legal fines, legal fees, and legal trouble. For everything that you're getting for this value, I guess you could say these prices are out of this world. What commercial interaction might go on between Earth people and visitors from the far reaches of space. Probably about uh, 10 or 11 years ago, uh, I made an acquaintance of a man who, as it, as it turns out, is a Pleiadian. Now, he is not a Pleiadian soul who has incarnated in a typical Earth body, but he told me that his family had been on this planet for 13 generations. I was, I was, well, I had planned to go up and visit with James up at the ranch there at East City. And so as I was getting prepared to go, I kept hearing, I kept feeling all these rumblings. And I thought at first it was an earthquake coming and then no earthquake hit. So I thought, well, I don't know what that was all about. But as it turned out, there was apparently a bunch of the reptilians and so forth. They were trying to make a run for it, trying to get off the planet. <laughs> and the rumblings were the Pleiadians shooting their ships down. There's another trusted friend of mine revealed that he had he was visited uh, since 2009 by three Pleiadians right in his front room. As so I understood, there was about like a thousand ships that were destroyed in that in that effort, which was a major thing. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Tolek and Simon and some of those others had reported that there were only like 120 reptilians left on the planet. <laughs> Most of them got blasted out of the air by the Pleiadians. So the Pleiadians are, are having a major, and these are fifth dimensional Pleiadians, as I understand it. 
And uh, it appears that the messages from the ETs, uh, some perhaps from Pleiades, some from Andromeda, Sirius, and so forth, are spoken from a higher dimensional thought process. So uh, many of the things which have come, for instance, seem to uh, demonstrate a fourth dimensional logic and reasoning. And then another one of my friends, the uh, XCIA uh, sort of fellow, told me that he used to go down to Peru to interact with the Pleiadians who land there on a continual basis. And I have to say we do have uh, help from external sources. Some like to say E.T., some like to say angels, some talk about prophets or ascended masters or a whole host of entities. Anyway, another acquaintance uh, that I had made, actually a, a, a native man from uh, the northern Utes up in northern Utah, had told me about little men who fly around up there on flying discs, gathering up radioactive materials in the mountains up there. And we also had other ambassadors who have come on this planet from Venus. And uh, another friend of mine told me about a visitor who had come into her home from inside the hollow earth. Uh, apparently she was very tall, or he was very tall, but luckily the house she lives in has a 10 foot high ceiling. And actually, in one of my previous existences, I, I was, in fact, a fifth dimensional Pleiadian. And so I kind of have that in my blood, which I have to work on because I have to get my mindset out of that in order to function uh, in more of a spiritual uh, way than I had when I was out blasting Pleiadians. And it's in galaxies and heck, maybe even from the whole universe. Our message to our space friends and family to the extraterrestrials, to the Ascended Masters, and other interdimensional beings is, come on down. Winston Shroud, the man, the myth, the legend, fourth dimensional thinking, reincarnated fifth dimensional Pleiadian, ally to the Queen of the Fairies, and staunch opponent to the satanic dark cabal known as the Illuminati. Is it any wonder with such powerful insights coming from such a important figure within the sovereign citizen movement that the government needed to step in and try to squash the free man to shackle him bind him and make him fettered once more i'm sure you've all seen the fake news in the oregonian citing that winston shroud has been arrested and tried for selling upwards of 100 trillion fake dollars to his gullible followers refusing to pay income taxes and hosting private seminars which facilitated other people engaging in illegal activities. You may even have seen the follow-up headline saying that he is currently fleeing from the law, out on the lam, hidden in the wilds. Why those very same fake news sources even went as far as to bribe his defense attorney and have him give a statement that his client was innocent because he is a literal fucking retard and he didn't know better about what he was doing. Well, I ask you, who knows better? The United States government, its judicial system, and its civil courts, or Winston Shrout and his friends, the Pleiadians? I think this whole thing, the information I'm getting from, uh, how shall I say, the star people or the people on the other side, is that all, this whole thing would be wrapped up uh, very close to May the 1st anyway. And so it's, uh, uh, things are good. Put it that way. Well, good morning, chat. Hopefully you're having a, a wonderful day. Again, it's 8,000 below where I am right now, buried under a mountain of snow with nothing to keep me warm other than this can of petrol. I should have listened to the PSA, but <laughs> God help me, it's just so attractive sniffing gasoline. I mean, that song has a hell of a beat and a pretty great hook, but not as good is the fumes from this gas can. I'm Rama 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 ing it the fuck up right now. You can't stop me, Aboriginals. I don't listen to Australian PSAs. I get high as fuck off gas fumes. <laughs> they wonder why does this guy keep coming to the gas station and just sticking his face right into the pump? Oh, well you you know you haven't lived until you've just inhaled the scent of diesel. You're just right right up in the unleaded section. You've got to be a connoisseur about it. What what are you, what grade are you going to go for? What rating? 87, 91, 93? 
Dare I Dream 95, perhaps? Now, today I was going to do Twitch stuff. I'm still kind of collecting that, and by still kind of collecting that, I mean when I turned the stream off yesterday, I went and played Metro for like eight hours and completely forgot. So I thought we could do gang stalking because God knows there's about eight bajillion videos up about it. And maybe go take a look at our gang stalking because that exists. If you ever wanted to see what a maelstrom of paranoia looks like, our gang stalking is the fucking place for you. No, I would just I started off with something nice about a man who believes his ex-wife, now ex-wife of course, uh, was part of the conspiracy. That's why they couldn't stay together. That bitch was in on it. She was in on it and she jerry-rigged his house uh, to keep track of him. But he learned the truth. Kick that bitch to the curb. Not gonna treat me. Are you not gonna trick me, lady? I know what you're up to. I know about covert home harassment of targeted individuals. At least as Michael Barden explains to us. Let me get this all set up. I hope you like the sound of fire alarms going off for no reason. Apparently, that evil woman decided to rig his whole house. So fire alarms play at random intervals. I think it's to fuck with his head. We'll we'll find out. Just get everything set up here. And we'll jump right into it. All right. Move that over there. Uh, there we go. I think we should be good. I do not... Oh, wait. Move that so it's a little bigger. Get it as full screen as we can. Get chat on there. All right. Let's dive into the world of covert home harassment. God, it sounds exciting. I'm sure it's not going to bore us to tears. And then maybe we can find out the wonders of why so many red cars are on the road. What the fuck is up with all the red cars? I don't know. Hopefully he'll drop that drop that information into our laps. That'd be nice. Okay. Let's let's begin our journey into insanity. Take it take it away, buddy. Well, this is a good opportunity to talk about my house being rigged. Uh, it's, at least that's my perception. I moved here about three years ago to this neighborhood. Uh, my wife at the time, my ex-wife now, uh, who I believe... I don't know. You, did you notice that kind of in the back? Let me back that up just a little bit. <laughs> he's, he's already gone into the bunker phase of his insanity. Uh, who just starting to stockpile shit for no reason in random rooms. Always I believe good. was a perp. Gang stalker. I love it. My wife is a perp. My wife is a gang stalker. I had to get rid of her. Wow. Yeah, what's up with that woman? How does she always know where I am? How does she know so much about me? It's it's almost like she lives with me. It's like she's inside my head. But obviously the government sent her to keep, keep dabs on me because I'm so dangerous. Uh, she picked this house. Oh, I love it. Great soundtrack. Real got it got a good beat to it. Ear piercing. I love it. Good morning, chat. Wake up. He somehow set off another one. His quest to turn off the fire alarm and he set off another one. <laughs> Is the man radioactive? How do you do that? How do you go to turn the fire alarm off and you set off another one? Oh, he figured it out. Okay. So, like I was saying, uh, when we were searching houses, I was finding a bunch of different places. She was in Oklahoma looking places up online, and uh, she found this ridiculously huge house for uh, $1,300 a month. It's almost unbelievable. Too good to be true. Big place. This is my bedroom. Anyway... I got to this place. I was I was out here looking around for houses by myself. Are these all hats? Did you know? Like, is that how he beats the government? He's got a collection of hats to disguise himself. Driving all over the place, found this house. I walked in. Uh, they gave me the key, so uh, I'd come check it out. Came to check this place out. It was ridiculously huge. I never lived in a house this big. Uh, it was. Not much more than the house I was renting that was like a thousand square feet. 
before that, but uh, after we were here a while, I started noticing a lot of different stuff around here that um, didn't make sense. Like, see these walls? See how the paint's all different everywhere? The, go the government comes into my house at night and they repaint my walls. They think I don't notice, but I do. The CIA has developed a plan to fuck with my head by off-matching the color of my walls slightly so it's all I can notice at the fucking breakfast table. It's almost like, you know, the house had been uh, damaged before and they just covered it up with a bunch of this hot paint, but it is everywhere in this house. And this might not seem like any kind of big deal to a lot of people, but some folks that know what's going on with this stuff will recognize, you know, sometimes they'll put stuff in the walls to make noises. And uh, now this is this is just my own personal uh, perception. And I've also read a lot of this stuff online that, uh, you know, they'll haunt houses, uh, bug the house, haunt the house, you know, like make <laughs> That's step two in the CIA's plan of fucking with you. They sneak into your house at night. <laughs> they sneak into your house at night and paint sections of the wall when you're not a, not aware of what they're doing. And then they, they hide in the closet and put sheets over themselves to spoop you because they want to haunt your house. That's that's in the CIA training manual. They are there to haunt you. Glow-in-the-dark CIA niggers are there to haunt your ass. It seemed like there's all kinds of weird stuff going on. And uh, for quite a while, when there was a lot of uh, induced stress going on in my life, uh, about three, around about three thirty, four o'clock in the morning, this thing started going off. We didn't have service to this. We, uh, I'm trying to even, we didn't have service to this at all. We just, uh, we were just here with the house originally. And it's got these monitors up here in the corners. Um, but that thing just started randomly going off uh, in the morning. I called and asked for the code. They said they would call the owners and uh, see if they can get the code for me. Never heard back from anybody. It was always just kind of a run around and I uh, kept having issues with this. And it was like when I had something important to do. So shouldn't he be happy? Like if the CIA is sneaking into this dude's house in the middle of the night, then that thing is working because it's going off in the mornings. That's when they show up. Most people don't know this, but government agencies, when they come in to paint your house, usually do it between 4 in the morning and 8 in the morning. That's the typical time is listed in the CIA manual. Maybe maybe turn the fucking thing off if it's not working right. Uh, the next day, I had a lot of work to do. I had something that uh, required a lot of attention. This thing would just go off. Hold on to it. That would go off. I finally took a part out of that thing so it quit working. And then uh, right after that, each morning, these, uh, well, what's the, uh, the detectors? The smoke detector right there. This place is full of smoke detectors. A uh, different smoke detector, like each day or every other day, would just start going off three or four o'clock in the morning. I would get up, push the button, I'd be awake, and, uh, you know, if it happened for. Quite a while. Yeah, somebody in chat, pity the serviceman that has to deal with this nutcase. Yeah. Could you imagine getting a call from this guy after you sell him some fire alarms and some uh, home security equipment? And he calls you up frantic at like three in the morning, asking why you're trying to transmit brain waves into his head with your secret CIA technology? Can you please turn it off? I know you're doing it. I got rid of my wife, and I'm aware that you've been coming into my house to paint. That, that's the kind of call I think most people look forward to in the customer service industry. And that quit happening. And then, all of a sudden, I start posting videos on YouTube about what's going on with me. Talking about this stuff, getting some street theater, and, uh, you know, kind of fighting back some of these people. And, uh, guess what? Smoke alarms start going off at, uh, 3 o'clock in the morning again. Why, I fucking called it. I am a glow-in-the-dark CIA nigger. I told you, he called that service rep at 3 in the morning. There you go. I know because I've rigged this man's house. Don't tell him. Don't tell him that Mr. Medicare is the one that is in control of all of his electronics. And that I am watching him daily. Uh, this one's my son's room each time, so 
to go off in my son's room, 3 o'clock in the morning now, wake him up. Uh, went off this morning, exactly at 10 o'clock, uh, and then he went and got in the shower. I came out front to hang out for a second, get some fresh air, and uh, as I'm out front, he gets in the shower, the smoke alarm goes off again. So, I'm, on this, I'm in this neighborhood called Glenhurst, here in Avondale, Arizona. They always do this. I never understood this. In fact, we'll look at a video later on of a woman where this backfires on her. All these people complain about gang stalking. And then they tell you their full name. And they film their license plates. And then they tell you their physical address. And they wonder why they get fucked with. Some chick who was into gang stalking did that. And some random troll from the internet started showing up at her house and asking her why she was crazy. And it made her even more convinced she's being gang stalked. Are actually 2,500 square feet to 4,000 square feet, right about there, this neighborhood. And my house is at the very end of this neighborhood. So when you come in for an entrance, uh, you have to drive down a street, go around a roundabout, and then drive down another street to get to the very back of the neighborhood where I live. Uh, I've ridden my bike around this neighborhood quite a bit, and I noticed that my house is the only house that has these holes. That's how they pump in the deadly Frankenstein radio-controlled CIA nerve gas. Maybe if you'd listened to our boy Franklin, he could have explained it to you. Uh, these vents up here, all the way around. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It seems to me like it would let a lot of the uh, cool air out when you're heating the, uh, or cooling the house. Cool air, hot air, whatever. It's all the way around the top floor all the way around the second floor. None of these other houses have that, so maybe they're better insulated so they have uh, lower bills. This house is set up to have higher bills. As soon as I got to this house, the uh, gas company came out and put this smart meter on my house. And when I asked about it, uh, I got some big time street theater from the lady. She acted like I was uh, some kind of criminal coming out there and interrogating her about... Uh... <laughs> Maybe because he went up to her and started asking her who she was working with. Why are you Why are you rigging up meters on my house? I know you're a part of it. Everybody's in on the conspiracy. The truck driving down the street, the neighbor mowing his lawn, the lady at the gas company, they're all in on it. They get together early in the morning at 2 a.m. when you're still asleep because the nerve gas is kicked in to plan how to fuck with you for the day. They're all in on it, bro. Everybody in that neighborhood is being paid to fuck with you. Nobody nobody living there is a normal person. It's all an act. It's like the Truman Show, but malevolent. They're there just to make sure you go insane. That's some top secret information that she knew. And uh, all I was doing was trying to just ask a couple questions because I was curious about what was going on in the, uh, the house that I live in. Uh, and she actually started a fight, basically. And I told her, I can't, I can't even remember exactly what exact uh, went down, transpired. But uh, I told her if she was going to act like that, she'd go ahead and leave, and uh, call somebody else to come out. She left. I had to call the uh, gas company, have somebody else come out, and I'm sending a supervisor and made a formal complaint. When I was going to make the formal complaint. Uh, they had the lady call me and apologize so I wouldn't file the complaint. Looking back now, I should have because it was street theater. She deserved a complaint. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she really deserved that complaint. She deserved to have her job fucked with because you're paranoid. That sounds about right. Let me go find the video of the woman who learned a lesson the hard way on why you should make gang stalking videos talking about being gang stalked because people will show up at your house to fuck with you because they find it amusing. Oh, where is this? Okay, I know I linked it on the targeted individual video. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, the video was called. Let's see if we can find it. Man Tits Makes a Visit Stalking Group. <laughs> she calls them Man Tits. So let's see if we can find this. Up, oh, it's still up. Here we go. This is the end result of being an idiot on the internet and making a thousand videos a day about being gang stalked <laughs> because random people show up to fuck with you. Uh, this video was put up by Want to Be Free. 
talking about people showing up at her house entitled Man Tits Makes a Visit Gang Stalking Group Stalking. Hello? So I'm going to leave my camera on if you don't mind too because it's really weird. Okay. So you, fa you found me. Yeah. Um, well actually it's, it's a, yeah, it's pretty weird. Um, so I, somehow I was looking up things and I made my uh, Raleigh. Okay. And then your video popped up. Okay. I never, I never heard of it before. But what you call gang stalking? Mm-hmm. This must be like a nightmare scenario for her. She makes all these videos titled Gang Stalking, and this dude finds them, figures out where she lives based on her filming around her apartment complex, and shows up. Uh, so, anyway, I just... I wanted to come talk to you in person. Look at that smile. This dude knows 100% what he's doing. He has come there to make her fucking living nightmare a reality. Okay. And I know we've, we've never met before. No, it's very weird that you came to my front door to, right. Right. especially going through what I'm going through. So that's why I kind of wanted to talk to you about. It, I, don't know, I mean, I see you have a friend here, so. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure you know, you you had someone to talk to. So I have somebody to talk to. I just don't understand why you showed up at my front door, like, because um, look at him smile. He should have really gone the whole distance with it. He should have just started saying coded words for no reason and doing like doing like a, a umpire gestures and shit, winking at her. I came here because code 11, wink, wink. Just throw that in there in between every other sentence to see what she does. It's very gang stalky of you to just come knock on my front door and be like, hey, so so you're you're being stalked. No, Is no, that the uh, case? I guess I wanted to see what. Why you thought the things that you post in your videos? Hmm. And this isn't something you could just message me over YouTube, or uh, you just wanted to prove to me that you could come to my front door. That's that's very gang stockish in itself. No, I, that's that's my point. Is you're you're telling the world. No, I know exactly where you live. Okay. I love it. I love it. He actually just lays it out flat for. Her. Hey, retard. Stop filming. Stop filming your home and telling people your address and the car you drive. Otherwise, otherwise, dipshits like me, <laughs> the people you name man tits, are gonna show up and fuck with you. Okay. So you and, just and then you get paranoid because you think people are stalking you. Oh. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't. No. Okay. And what's your name? Do you have like driver's license or something? Yeah, my name's Robbie. Robbie who? Yeah. Why, why do you need to know that? Why did you come to my front door and knock on my door? Sorry, man. That's classified information under the NSA Fuck With You Act. I can't give you my last name. But if you look over at that van parked in the parking lot with the people with the cameras currently pointed at you, they can vouch for me. Wave to the van with all the camera equipment. You're tell me that to, you knew my had a YouTube channel. To figure out what your channel's about. Oh, okay. So you're just Robbie. Yeah. Are you, do you plan on putting me on YouTube? Or? Pro probably, yeah. Because you just showed up at my house, dude. Or the audio will cut out, you've got to refresh. So if you're in chat, you can still hear, just tell them to refresh, F5. And they'll be back, back to watching our boy Robbie fuck with fuck with the delusional woman by basically making her greatest fear come real me to become famous for being fuckers and irritating the hell out of me and why do you, why, do you think why do I think that because I've lived through it for five years why yeah, why am I from even from standing from here talking to you you that is the most bizarre from thing what I, from what I see on your video Your, your neighbors aren't doing anything to you. <laughs> okay. And I, hey, Robbie, if you ever come knock on my front door again, I will call the police. This is the most weird thing for you to ever do.
you are going to be famous. Well, and you keep staring I'm over here like you've got a couple of friends sitting over no, here. here. So this I'm is some kind of bet. I'm here by you walked I'm here, you rode the city I bus, you I drove a car, I what? I I would be coming here because I wanted to see you in person. Okay. I wanted to see how you acted in person. How would you expect someone to react to that? Well, <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Okay. So I'm, I'm glad I get With your that. little stalker hand yeah. gesture there. It's hot out here. Yeah, that's a hand gesture. He's not wiping the sweat from his face. That's part of the plan. He's signaling the people in the parking lot and all their neighbors so, so they can come fuck with her, too. But, uh, I'm not sweating as bad as you are. I'm just saying. So you, you walked here, drove here. No, I drove here. That's, that's my car over there. Which one? The van. The white van? Yep. Yeah, I, and that's, that's what I wanted to tell you. Is there are millions of people in the world. <laughs> are, oh, you're going to come. To, you're going to come give me therapy on to, my front door about people driving white vans. Yes, because I. That's, that's a work van. I work for a living. I understand. Millions of people that work. Works, I work for a living, my, too. That's my vehicle. But. Let's go look at your vehicle, Robbie. How do you want to check out my vehicle? Because you just knocked on my front door, dude. Well, I just... I want, no, and... I want you to know that... Like, to me, is to, from what you post on your videos, it sounds like you live by yourself and you're afraid to talk to the people around you. And I'm, I just wanted to be here and say, hey, you don't have to live that way. What's the name of the YouTube channel? What do you... Th you, you found me! Tell us, what's, your, what's the name? You tell me! I forget all the time I have. <laughs> you just knocked on my front door and you don't know my YouTube channel? Right. Okay. He's so fucking with her. Hey, by the, by the way, I found you from your videos. What's your YouTube channel's name again? I don't know what it is. Don't don't film my white van. <laughs> Hopefully the other agents can hide behind the seats before you get over here. I just, I just found you last night and I was so compelled that I wanted to come meet you. Southern Door and Trim Inc., Youngsville, North Carolina, 919-562-2988, North Carolina, TYD, 5947. You anything, will be famous. Anything out of the ordinary there? I wonder, I wonder if SBCC can call this dude's work and ask for therapy. Like, hey, is Robbie in? I've got a gang stalking problem and I need a visit from him to help me get through this trying time. You. <laughs> well, I've, I've been told that before, but... I'm done talking to you. <laughs> Robbie, don't come to my house again. Ever. USDOT 777717. Don't come to my house again. Are you there? <laughs> I can't, man. My can my shit's broken. Yeah, and I got cars. Anything weird about that? I just want you to know that I'm working. Yeah, I know you working me. Yeah, that's her uh, her genius plan. Want to be free. Uh, her whole channel, if I remember right, is nothing but gang stalking shit. Let's uh, let's take a look. <laughs> turn around is turn play. Oh, the North Carolina skies, obviously their cloud seat. Oh, gang stalking. I'm meeting someone. I really have no reason to. Did somebody else show up to her house? <laughs> Did somebody else do this? Why did she get out of her car after she parked it in the parking lot? What's her nefarious plan? Is she working with man tits? Did Robbie send her? Did Robbie send her to get me?
What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I said I'm just meeting someone here. Of course you are. <laughs> Who you meet? Wouldn't it be wonderful if Robbie ran like a trolling group dedicated to fucking with this lady and he got all these different people just to go where she's going to drive her even crazier than she already is? Maybe, maybe Man Tits. <laughs> Man Tits is running a whole forum dedicated to fucking with I Want to Be Free. Mm. Fools they make of themselves. Look at this woman. Not a hint of irony. Not a hint of irony in the statement she's making. The fools they make of themselves. As she makes videos daily about people driving the wrong colored car and scratching their faces and how that's all part of the plot to get her. Well, good luck to you. I'm glad you had. Uh, yes, chat. This woman is insane. Uh, they have manuals, too. They're like video manuals about all the hand signals that the gang stalkers do. <laughs> Domestic terrorist parks and no parking. Go, go Intel Pro. Gang stalking. Let's see what this CIA agent is up to. What a place to pull over, don't you think? I haven't made a video in a long time, so maybe it's time I did. Because this tends to be, like, the most famous place to just stop and park your car. There's, like, a hundred parking lots. I hope you yeah, just everything. Everything that... <laughs> I wonder if Robbie ever visited her again. There's only room for two counter pole gang stalking. Another, another... Neighborhood kids flocking around me. Oh, the children are in on it. Of course they are. The local elementary schools always recruit gang stalkers. I always found it funny how the people that complain most about gang stalking and people observing them are the ones running around with cameras filming everybody for no reason. Like, that's just kids walking by, but she's got to film them because they're in on it. They're part of the conspiracy to fuck with her on a daily basis. And everybody needs to know this happened on June 7th of 2017 at 5.30 p.m. is when these children were sent to harass her. Oh, let's, you know what, actually, we should look at, what's her most popular video? I bet it's man tits. <laughs> no, it's not, okay. Perp Arazi, number six, 2015. <laughs> She's, meet at the top of my stairs, patterns of gang stalking. White invaders, color group, oh, this should be good. Yeah, they've got this weird thing where it's, the grouping of cars, like the color of cars, is a signal you're being gang stalked. I just thought this was worthy of film. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> oh, 
And the red car. What? <laughs> she is convinced any white vehicle that's a van or a truck is part of it, and any red car is. So when she sees when she sees a white truck towing three other white trucks and a red car, that just blows her fucking mind. White. If you look ahead, white, white, white. Now I'm getting gas. There's no one here. It's April 22nd. Look at the stoplight. There's no one here. I'm going to start to get gas. I bet as she's getting gas, a car mysteriously pulls up behind her for unknown reasons at the gas station. Clearly, part of the stalking mentality of the CIA. Maybe they're at her house right now painting the walls while she's out. Man tits. <laughs> Man tits is directing this all. He's the fucking supervillain in this. Oh, somebody revved their engine. That must be a sign. Should be a casual thing, right? It's like a ghost town around here. This never happens. I wonder who's going to pull in behind me. What color do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be a random color? Or a white car? Up, oh, conspiracy confirmed. A white vehicle is pulled up behind her. Definitive proof the CIA is out to get her. <laughs> Why? Who owns a white car? That black gentleman, he's in on it. They pick the biggest black guy they can find to intimidate her. I bet he's going to walk up to her and start talking in coded messages. Maybe scratch his face to let man tits know he's on the scene. Just in the background, there'll be a lot of color as well. Groups of white and black. Oh, you just drive through the parking lot. <laughs> what the hell is this guy doing? That's not a driveway. You yahoo. You see that smile on his face? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man tits is behind everything. I bet he told everybody else in, like, service, you know, people do, like, yard work and electrical and plumbing. He's like, this crazy chick who you see around town with a camera thinks people are gang-stalking her. So if you see her, smile at her. It'll really fuck with her head. Huh? I know. Good job. He's got a water bottle. He's in on it, too. I think he enjoys his job. Where'd this guy come from? Did you guys see where he came from? I didn't. And look how busy this place is getting all of a sudden. I am good for business. And keep in mind, look in the background. It's like strategically placed cars. Strategi <laughs> strategically placed cars. You're at a gas pump. You're, you're getting gas. The cars are strategically placed because that's where they have to drive up to. To put fuel into their vehicles. That's not, that's not a great conspiracy. It's the fucking fundamental design of a gas station. No. She brought her partner in crime. He's going to walk up soon. And it's all about crowding and surrounding you. Making you feel claustrophobic and, you know, like just a hundred percent of your time there are people crowding. You never get a moment. Oh, I want to I wanna kick the craziness up a notch. Let's go find the ones where they start screaming at people. <laughs> what was the chick's name? Hold on. I think it's Gangstock. Yeah, here we go. This is, These ones are always extra fun. Well, they just decide to start yelling at people. Just stop okay. stalking me. This is, this is a classic. Ah, uh, here we go. Remember, the color white is obviously a sign that they're in on it, so all post office employees are a part of the conspiracy. Here's this. 
right? I was, I, all I did was go into the office, office of my apartment development, right? And they refused to give me the form. I'll talk about that in a minute. This guy walked into the office when I was there, and now here he is parked out here, right? Stop stalking me, right? Don't ever stalk me again. Are you talking to me? Yeah. About what? Don't ever stalk me again. Who's stalking you about you. what? You. <laughs> Stop some more. Do it. <laughs> Sir, day you. You, yeah, guy sitting in the truck not even looking at me. Stop fucking stalking me. Are you talking to me? Yeah. About what? Don't ever stalk me again. Who's talking to me about what? You. <laughs> Stop some more. Do it. <laughs> you're crazy. Is that right? Yes, it is. Say to the camera that you're not stalking me. I am not stalking you. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. Is that right? That's right. You want to give your name? I do not need to. You want to give me yours? You want to give me yours? Yeah, I didn't think so. I have no idea who you are, lady. So, you know, you're dreaming. You think I'm stalking you. Good luck with that. Well, Keep talking, why don't you? She had to let him know. I mean, he had to know. The mail. Oh, I, you know what? She has an account. Let's see if it actually still exists. Uh, that's a re-upload. But she does have an account where she goes around screaming at road cones. So let me see if I can <laughs> see if I can find it. Oh, there's, God, there are a bunch of mailman stalking videos. This, uh, this ought to be good. Oh, uh, let's find this one. Somebody stalking me in a store. That's oh, always good, too. I, I, I think it's the same chick. Why? <laughs> this might be the same woman. Oh, those fucking mailmen. They're all in on it. Every day, at the same time, driving the same streets. It's all part of the plan. You can see the pattern if you pay attention. I, I am so sick, so sick of being stopped by the Postal Service. Stop following me! Don't ever follow me again! Hey, don't ever follow me again. Do you understand me? About? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know who you are. Sure you do. Stop stalking me, right? Don't ever stalk me again. Are you talking to me? Yeah. About what? Don't ever stalk me again. Who's stalking you about You. What? Do it. <laughs> you're crazy. Is that right? Yes, it is. Say you to the camera that you're not stalking me. I get it. You think you can just follow me around and you think it's totally funny, right? Stop following me. <laughs> I know you think it's hysterical. It is not hysterical. Just leave me alone. Stop following me. Stop gang stalking me. Le <laughs> this is fucking amazing. It's all the same woman. That's her name. Lena, Lena Kochman. Oh, we're going to look more of her up. They made somebody made a compilation of her screaming at postal employees. Leave me alone. Do you understand me? I am not crazy. You're the one who's crazy. Leave me alone. When, when someone tells you they don't want to be filmed, don't no, it's film. public. Does your does your manager what know? Your does your manager know that you're stalking me? What's that? Does your manager know you're stalking me? I'm here delivering a package there and collecting that mailbox. You just crossed the fucking street. You're a fucking head case. Here's this van. Stop stalking me. Yeah. What? I said stop stalking me is what I said. Stop stalking you? Yeah, don't stalk me ever again. I've never seen you before in my Whatever. life. Whatever. Whatever. And here's the UPS guy who's stalking me. <laughs> How about you stop stalking me, right? Don't stalk me. Why are you stalking me? What are you talking about, man? Man, why are you, ta why are you doing this? Leave me alone. Right, they're gang stalking me. You need to walk away. I'm recording you because you're stalking me. And you know it. <laughs> All these dudes, these poor fuckers just doing their job, just trying to make a paycheck because they're just going about their daily lives. And she runs at them full speed, screaming, shoving a camera in their face. Stop gang stalking! Isn't that right? Who do you think you're going to call? You are stalker. Go ahead, I am not. You are I am, I am not. See? No, it's you, you, it's, you, it's you and your friend. You are. Hey, I am not. You want to give your name? Don't you have anything better to do? Don't you? God bless you. The FedEx guy, he, fo he followed me into this Catholic store. He followed me in here. Yeah. He followed me in here. You gotta be kidding me.
hit least? That's what, your hat, that's what your hat says, right? Did she just call him Tit Beast? What, what the fuck was that? What did she say to him? Here. You gotta be kidding me. Tit Beast? She called him Tit Beast! Here. You gotta be kidding me. Tit Beast? That's what, your hat, that's what your hat says, right? What's that? Aren't you done here? <laughs> you fucking dirty double stocking tit beast! I know what you're up to! I know what you're doing! What are you talking about? My hat says Titleist. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I pronounced it wrong. Really, I am. I'm taking my picture. Have a nice day. God bless. Here's the guy with the vacuum, right? Well, I'm leaving. I already had to ask the manager to ask somebody else to leave, to leave me alone because he was following me around with the, with the windshield, like the, not windshield, with, with the Windex, right? And here I am leaving. I swear to God, if I ever do merchandising, if I ever sell that four out of five uh, star hat, the one that's going to be sitting next to it in my little merchandising store is going to say Tit Beast. That needs to be a product that exists in this world. What? what? It makes no sense. It makes no fucking sense. Tit beast sounds great, though. Guy with the vacuum. Stop following me. Stop Open. following me around. Really? Stop it. Open your eyes. To what? I see you abusing me and other people like you abusing me. Right? It's, it's the people who are causing this to happen to me that need to open their eyes. Stop following me. I'm being made to leave CVS. Don't you think you can touch my camera? Oh, no. You harassed me. You harassed me and you know it. You harassed me. You absolutely did. You ran, you ran your hand right over your nose. No, she yes, did you did. She did so. Oh, you're lying. You attacked you're lying. Attacked you're lying. You are lying. You're a filthy liar. A filthy liar. Excuse me. Hi. So you're out with your friend, right? What What is it about your date that's so unsatisfying that you felt you had to cough at me? Uh, excuse me, I don't need this right now. Is that right? I don't need it either because I go through it all day long. All right, find nice find nice someone night. else to bother. Good night. I didn't is know. that is that right? Is that right? Did you just cough at me? What? Did you just cough at me? No. Are you working with the tit beast guy? Are you is man tits involved in this? I saw you cough at me. Is that a coded message to Mr. Tit Beast? Did I hear you cough? Was that you? I coughed. Yes. You did? Was it at me? No. Do you want to give your name? No. I cough because I yeah, so? cough. Yeah, so? Is that right? You're a crazy lady. Is that right? Am I really? Yeah. You're Maybe right. so, but I'm not a fucking liar, am I? You didn't just walk up here to cough at me, and you're not lying to me about it now, is what you're trying to say. Is that what you're trying to say? It's a joke. No, it's not a joke. You done? Are you done? Because if you walk away, then we're done. If you don't walk away, then we're not done. I, f I, okay, I, I, I have to look her up. Okay, let's see if she... Yeah, this is the chick that used to scream at road cones. Let me see if I can find her. <laughs> Let me see if I can find... Oh my god. Oh, is this her? Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Guess how many videos she has. <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, she's fucking insane. Okay, alright. We're watching some of this chick today. 1,100 videos. 1,100 videos of her screaming, are you stalking me at fucking random people? <laughs> and they're all, they're all cell phone videos. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, let's watch some more. I just want you to leave me alone. No, I don't think you are. This guy coughed at me and then he tried to grab my camera. He did, he tried to grab my camera. He coughed at me and coughed at me. You're on camera. They saw what you did. Yeah, you want to tell, tell it to the camera. Go on and ask the camera. Right, tell the camera that you're not stalking me, that you're not in support of child molestation, a bunch of other things. Go on, tell the camera that. <laughs> this dude's like, what are you talking about? Where, where did the child molestation come from? He fucking coughs and she's calling him a pedophile. In support of child molestation, a bunch of other things. Go on, tell the camera that. Tell the camera you have no idea what I'm talking about, and that you weren't following me around, and that everything that I'm saying isn't true. Go on, say it. What happened? Yeah, that's right. This is all happening in front of Labor Ready. Like there were the four, there were like the four caution things this morning, and now all of a sudden, all of this showed up here. This is all happening here. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. Nothing at all. It's just a bunch of crap. I look like a temptress, don't I? 
Don't, I'm seriously though, don't I? I mean, I'm really seriously, I am, I am like the definition of, you know, I mean, when, when people, when like couples see me walking down the street, they should, they should, like, the, I, I certainly, you know, the woman, the woman should not inv should involuntarily clutch at her husband or her boyfriend or whatever. So I, I am seriously, I'm here to find work. That's it. I'm here to find work. I don't have to work. I can let some one of those idiots marry me. I tell them no all the time. I never stop telling them no. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just trying to get work. <laughs> This is the fucking greatest shit. Oh, uh, there was one. There's one other. I, this might even be her too. I don't know. Like, it seems anything involving mailmen is her. Hey everybody, Steve here. So Mr. Mailman here. He's got his he's on his cell phone, on headphones, whatever. I guess it's a boring job. But um, he uh, he was standing right in front of, right, right, right in front of the house here. Saw my parents. And uh, pointing his phone right at me. Spells no good in my book. All right, let's. Oh. We're going to dig into this bitch. I, I want to find the road cone ones because I, I, I really remember her screaming at shit in the street for no, for no reason. Screaming at road cones and saying, why are you stalking me to them? Oh, let's do the most popular. That's probably the best way to sort it. <laughs> oh, God, I don't even know where to start. There's so many videos. There's so much crazy shit. Is it a stop? <laughs> There's one where she screams, stop raping me. Should we watch the stop raping me video? Okay. Let me just get this set up. Actually, let me... uh. You know, because I'm 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 working with uh, man tits and tit beast, so I need to make that money. Let me read the super chats really quick before we go back into her fucking insanity. All right, where the fuck is this? Uh, from Sargon of No Kid, here's another retard for you, Jimbo. I'll take a look at it. From Acercorn, uh, Photon Jim or Meadow Car, uh, Photon Jim probably. Mine 1001. Perhaps those children are those child sex agents Terry A. Davis used to talk about. Very well could be. From James O'Shag Nasty. It must be nice to think you're important enough to be gang stalked. S. Cyber Taz. He's like William Defoe fucked Steve Buscemi for a fistful of meth. From Calstro. Warbo's number one. Free We Weir. Medica Fembot. Is this the pilot guy? He's almost as nutty as the Arab who thought Jews snuck into his house to steal one of his shoes to taunt him. Uh, no, it's not the pilot guy. Um, I don't know what happened to him. I genuinely felt bad for him because he's like a, a, a well-to-do pilot. Uh, he's got his whole life ahead of him. But then he falls into the gang stalking shit. And I've talked about this in videos before. Like, they feed off each other's paranoia. They notice one thing, right? Or they think they find a pattern. And then it never stops. It just, it feeds on itself. So when they find a community of people that think the same crazy shit they do, it gets worse and worse and worse. So this guy goes from a well-paid pilot with his own place to out of a job and homeless and eventually in a psych ward. It's pretty fucking tragic. From Dark Horse 24, I've got gay cancer. I'm going to die and so are you. Sargon of No Kid, I'm hiding in your closet wearing a fursuit, Jim. From Electric Boogaloo. Two, Terry warned us of this. Caleb LL Show, user degenerated descendant, or I'm sorry, degenerated, <laughs> degenerated dissident, has been a fan of yours since your early IA days, pre Gamergate. He didn't have money, but I decided to pass the message along. He said, 1488, and thank you for all you do for us. He's gotten a job, lost some weight, and is happy. Uh, well, good for him. From Bites Zadustu, and the Kishibi Rohan was killed by. Yoshikaga Kira, who ha matured. Or, I'm guessing you're saying who has matured? I'll throw that one in. From Rogue Fragment, hey Jim, play the ICP movie. I think you'll like watching all of it. Oh fuck, if there is an ICP movie, maybe we'll watch that today. From C. Thomas the Peasant, the morning streams make my morning better. Keep at it, Jim. Uh, from Medicarist, here's how you remove those Nazi chips from your head, Jim. It's a link to a video. We'll watch some of these videos later. I want to dig into... Lena uh, Kochman and her blatant insanity. 
Uh, HDR to you. I remember you wanted some good PSAs. Here you go. It's a classic. Uh, yeah, we will do a PSA stream, hopefully about Aboriginals from Australia. Uh, fucking in the coffee. The Hannah Hayes stuff from yesterday's stream reminded me of this video. Uh, also, not Twitch, but Cam Whore trolling for when you do that stream. Thank you very much. Uh, Sneaky's O'Reilly. Uh, no note attached to that one. Burning Breakfast. All right, boss. TLC has some crazy shit on it. Apparently, enjoy. Uh, from Reloaded AK. How is Metro? I've heard something about the Epic Launcher possibly fucking with how it runs. Uh, I have not had any issues with Metro running. Uh, then again, I've got a, a semi-decent setup, so maybe that's what it's about. Uh, but I've got it installed on a normal hard drive. You know, I, I'm not running it at, like, ultra levels, but I haven't had any issues. It's run pretty smoothly for me, but it's hit or miss on PC. Some people, it, it just depends on the setup you have, the components that you have. Uh, but at least for myself, it, it's run fine. I haven't had any, any, like, technical issues, hasn't glitched out, hasn't crashed. Uh, I'm I'm really fucking enjoying it. It's been a long time since I played a game that I actually really enjoyed, and for whatever reason, I'm really enjoying this one. Uh, take that for what you will. Everybody's got different tastes, so my taste could be shit. The game might be awful, but I just like it for whatever reason. Who knows? Okay. Let us find out who is raping poor Lena. Why, why is she being raped in the streets? That's just not right. All right. Uh desktop there we go and yeah so some people were linking to articles about her i'll read those and apparently she has an ed page i would not doubt it yeah so this is this is something that was done over the past like year or so the past couple of years and this is this is the most hateful thing and i wonder actually how long it's going to be like this i wonder if it's just, they're just planning it's just, this is going to be like another boston institution and it's just, just going to be like this i mean i don't even know how many more times would i have to say no to put a stop to this how many more times would I have to say no? Or, or is, the no, is the no actually kind of a turn on for everyone? You know, no. Well, that was that was a bit disappointing, Lena. I was expecting you to scream, "Stop raping me!" But I didn't get that in there. So let's see what we've got here. We've got uh, a couple of choices to go with. For some reason, clothing discussion is her most popular video. I have no idea why. But uh, let's find out. So this is all kind of a big sartorial challenge. You know, kind of figure out what's... And again, this is the woman. Uh, just drink it in, chat. This is the woman that's convinced that all men want to rape her. Uh, and there's a gang-stalking conspiracy to cough at her and initiate a sexual assault. Wear and everything. And, I, I, and I've, been, I've been saying for a while, because of course I get very tired of all this stuff. I get very, very tired of this. Um, and dealing with all this stuff. I don't like just having, just being able to wear a couple colors all the time. And I don't like... I don't, uh, the whole thing, it just drives me up the wall, right? So anyway, I was going to say, I don't know, I don't know, right? Okay, so I have this, this, this like, coat that I got a couple days ago, like, for free at one of the clothing donations. It's, it, it can be kind of difficult for me to find stuff. Yes, Chad, she does look like a hobat. Uh, this might be hobo fashionable. I don't know. Street person chic? We could, we could describe it as a few different ways. She looks like, she looks like she works at the dock. Like, I expect her to be unlo or unloading a fishing vessel with this particular outfit she's wearing. I don't know where she got it. Maybe Macy's in the women's section. I guess it's popular now. Is that what she's going with? In the clothing rooms, because um, they don't, they don't, people don't tend to donate, like, a lot of smaller sizes. So, I, you know, every, I'll go weeks without being able to find anything. And then I found this um, in one of the, one of the, like, donate, donation clothing rooms. So, the color, you know, I mean. I have no idea why this would be her most popular video. I could, I could not tell you why that's the most popular video. Stop raping me. Oh, let's see. I wish I could find the ones where she screams at road cones. I wouldn't even know. If I, if I had wanted to be in pornographic movies. Well, it's only six seconds long. Oh my god, what are you doing? If I wanted to be in porno movies, why would I do it for free? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, no wonder everybody's trying to rape this sexy woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lots of Obama stuff. FedEx. The janitor's excitement for today. Restroom at Marshall's. God, what did she do to the poor bathroom? Um, 
the first situation that I've been in where I'll go into a place and there's wet floor signs all over the place or other thing other things that are like conglomerate code for me being dirty and then their bathrooms look like this, right? Or some other part of the facility looks like this. I mean, you know, I'm sorry, I'm dirty? Really? Or there'll be a janitor following me around from places. Fascinating. Really good insight into the uh, the cleaning practices of, I, I don't even know, what was that, Marshalls? Good to know. Good to know that I should just shit in their trash cans. I'm glad that's been explained to us. All right, let's look up this crazy lady. People said there are articles about her. Uh, let's look up what the articles have to say. Give me one second here while I, while I do a little Googling on our, our favorite uh, Leave Me Alone lady. The feminist schizophrenic whose society did fail. Oof. Sounds like hard-hitting journalism. Let's go take a look. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what uh, what our news article has to say about our, our lovely woman here. The feminist schizophrenic whose society failed uh, by our author here, who <laughs> looks like he's got the world's worst haircut. Good to know. I've made a few prior blog posts that might give people the idea I don't like women. This is simply not the case. I just regard myself as immune to the kind of identity politics that obstructs people from looking at a situation clearly. Oh boy, getting some milady vibes already. There are indeed problems facing women in our call. Okay, I don't want to hear a spiel on this. Okay. Uh, for the past few hours, I've been listening to the video blogs of Lena Coachman. Initially, I discovered her after seeing a viral video of a woman claiming a postman was stalking her and was curious what the context might be. Normally, these things tend to lead to news articles of police arrest. But instead, I discovered she is essentially a homeless lady who is schizophrenic and has latched on to radical third-wave feminism, which fuels her mania. Well, let's see what he links to. Clothing and appearance. Another, another problem. Um, Fantastic audio quality, by the by way. By misogynist. I mean, I, the, the entire summer of 2011, I, I, don't, I don't think I wore um, anything other than long pants. I shaved my head in 2013. It didn't stop the slut shaming. With a, a whopping total of zero comments. Clearly, she's fighting the good fight. She uses the YouTube video uh, capture function on her phone to make mini vlogs, primarily signed advertisements like billboards. She screams at billboards, of course. Okay, all right, hold on. Everybody keeps spamming it. Let's go see what we're talking about. Let's go, let's uh, copy link address. Hold on. Oh, just give me one second here, chat. You want to see Jesse Smollett get arrested for being a retard? Let's let's go take a look. Oh, is it going to play here? Eventually back to where they had gotten out of a cab. So that was another individual we had to interview and another individual where we sought video. We continued to track that cab back to the point where the cab was tracked down by our two persons of interest in a rideshare car. We then followed up on the rideshare, and, and that was the lead that we needed in order to identify the two persons of interest. At that point, we had a real good timeline of where these two people went. We were able to put a name, to both of these individuals, and it was at that time that we started started looking at where they were. Uh, people in chat asking, who is this? This was an actor from the TV show Empire who made a false claim that he was lynched by racist Donald Trump supporters, and it was complete bullshit. He paid two Nigerians to do it. Our investigation led us to determine that they had purchased a round-trip ticket with them returning to Chicago on the 13th, so approximately two weeks after the, the incident. So that gave us a couple of weeks to try to continue to, to follow up on uh, any investigative lead, any, any investigative lead that would help us. Oh my God, this guy's going to take forever to talk about this. Let me just find a fucking news article so I can just read what the charge is and we can get back to gang stalking. All right, hold on, chat. 
Jesse said, okay, here we go. I'll read it. Fuck it. It's CNN. Whatever. It's dirty, but I'll read it anyway. Here's your hot breaking news on an a-, a fucking actor nobody gives a shit about. More than three weeks ago, after he alleged that he was a victim of a hate crime, actor Jesse Smollett has been arrested on suspicion of filing a false police report. The Empire Star was taken into custody at 5 a.m. this morning, ahead of a 1.30 p.m. bail hearing. Smollett faces a felony charge of disorderly conduct for allegedly filing a false report, claiming he was attacked by two men, including one who was masked, in the early morning of January 29th. Uh, well, there you go. Anything else about the charges? Nope. So apparently you can uh, claim that you got, uh, you're got you the victim of a hate crime. You were lynched in the street by two Donald Trump supporters. And you get one felony charge of disorderly conduct for a false police filing. There you go. That's your hot breaking Jesse Smollett news. Uh, where were we now with our crazy bitch? Uh, there we go. Uh, where did I leave off on this? Uh, billboards. There we go. Okay. Mostly she takes short videos of random signage she believes personally aimed at her. And, okay. Oh, this is a lot of writing. Is she she has a WordPress blog? Now, that might be interesting. At some point, she started believing Google was censoring her articles because she did not appear on the first page of... Why does that sound familiar? <laughs> Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, right. The crazy bitch that shot Google up. <laughs> what was her name? Oh, my God. What was the name of the chick that shot up YouTube? Oh, fuck. Okay, YouTube uh, headquarters shooting. What was her name? What was her name? Nassim Nasafish Agadamba. I can't even... I don't even know how to pronounce it. It just sounds like gibberish to me. Why is it always crazy women that, believe, that think they're getting censored so they decide to do something about it? Are any of her videos still up? I think Google has purged them all. Oh, my God. No, they aren't. Are they all gone? Yeah, Google has wiped out this chick's shit. She does not have her stuff up here anymore. I think I think it's been completely erased. I've filtered on YouTube, the YouTube shooter said in previous video. Yeah, that's why that sounded familiar. Okay. Uh, in some vlog video... Okay, this is a really long article, not really telling me fucking anything. What's most startling is some of her college essays read exactly like the kind of radical feminist manifestos that have become popular. Videos from just a few years ago show an attractive girl enough, or an attractive enough girl for her age. Are these like really old videos of her before she went crazy? Yeah, I didn't have a sweater. I didn't even have um, one sweater. It's been kind of a problem for a while, actually. I mean, just just to try to find something that wouldn't be. A... It has seven buttons, I think. Was it one, two? Well, at least she doesn't look totally homeless. All right, this this article is a bust. I'm, I'm getting bored just reading it. Uh, as far as Lena goes, I, I don't know if I can find the road cone videos. Uh, there are videos of her yelling at floor signage. <laughs> Maybe we can watch this one. And then we'll, we'll find some more gang-stalking victims. See if we can get to the, the heart of the matter. Find out why Tit Beast and Man Tits are so, so dedicated to fucking with innocent people. This is Marshall's um, in Boston. One of them. Um, and I... I'm shopping here because it's, you know, discounted stuff, um, and there's something that I need to buy, um, and this is, this is... Oh, somebody in chat said they found it. If you found the road cone video, I'm going to be really impressed. Okay, let's try this one out. Is this the one I'm thinking of where she screams at the road cones? Oh, is this a different woman? Oh, this, I think this might be it. This, this might be the video of her screaming at road cones. Thank you, chat, uh, for delivering the goods on this one. All right, are we set up? Yep, here we go. Holy shit, just show the fucking video. Yeah, this is a shopping center. I mean, it's got ver- various stores here, but this this first place has got, like, all these orange... Someone has put these all here. Yeah, I recognize her voice. That's her. Yeah, I think this might be the video. Someone's put, like, all of these orange... you got to be kidding. It's, it's just like, this declaration. This declaration, right, of male dominance. Stop doing this stuff. Enough! Stop! 
You know, it's like all over the place. Look at this. They're frick, they're everywhere. They're everywhere in the parking lot. Stop! Oh my god. It's not, it's like. She's very pissed off. She's just walking around filming fucking uh, road cones. I love it. These were all like, like Ku, like Ku Klux Klan hats, you know, or, or something that was meant to mean that. You know, would, would the president have let it just continue like this for years? Look at, look at them all. Look at all of this. It's everywhere. It's all around the entire parking lot. like the first store I don't even know if they have them like if they put them like everywhere you gotta be kidding me yeah they're everywhere they are everywhere oh my god they put them around the, the entire place here you know what you gotta be kidding me all right no could you imagine being the dude that works at Walmart collecting the carts and shit? You walk out into the parking lot and this crazy fucking nutcase is just ripping down all this stuff, screaming about rape and the president. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? This one. Give me a break. They paid people, paid people to put them all around here. This declaration of just the destruction of women's rights, the destruction of children's rights, they're everywhere around the entire place. You've got to be kidding me. Look at this. Who ordered this? Who made this happen? There's chilies. I don't even know how many people have harassed me in front of chilies. Like they, they like more in the summer. I mean, because now it's colder, right? So they just would see me out the windows, and then they would go outside of chilies and they would smoke and they would cough at me. I can't believe this. It's every, all around, all around the entire place. Sure, rape's not rape, right? Because sexual harassment isn't sexual harassment, and voyeurism isn't voyeurism. And she's screaming about rape to fucking sticks. <laughs> she's screaming at sticks in a parking lot about rape. Oh, she must be one wild fuck. Child rape isn't child rape, and child porn isn't child porn. It's just fun, right? Just a bunch of fun. Oh, Lena, you are something special. All right, let's see if we can delve a little deeper. <laughs> it's a crazy gang stalking videos. Oh, where are we here? I should have, I, oh, where was it? There was another, uh, another guy that had an account with just thousands of videos on it. I'm trying to find it. Give me one second here. Oh, am I going to be able to, <laughs> am I going to be able to find this shit? Oh, I know what it was. Okay. Let's, oh, uh, here we go. Oh, I think I included this in a previous video. This dude breaks it down for us. If you want to know all the crazy hand signs they use to secretly communicate with each other, our boy here is going to hes going to teach you the secrets of gang stalking. Uh, this is confidential information. Need to know. So you can't share it with the general population because I love you, chat. I'm going to let you see it. All right. These are the secret hand signals that gang stalkers use when they coordinate. What uh, Let's talk about hand signals. All right. So I used to think that all this signaling and shit, this shit, you know, this shit, pointing their elbow, one hand in the pocket. I used to think all that was pretty random. Like they were just like being told, oh yeah, do this. No, there's a reason for it, okay? When they're signaling, they're revealing to whoever else is surveilling you or the other gang stalkers in the area, your exact location. For instance, Let's say if somebody was to walk by my car, right, and they got their left hand in their pocket. Well, that's strategically done because they're... All right, you see this guy in chat, Steel Horse? It's not random. 
and you just outed yourself as a CIA glow in the dark. We know what's up. All right, our boy here, our boy here is an expert on gang stalking. You're not going to fucking trick us. Showing whoever's behind them, watching them, my location. Do you see what I'm saying? So they're going to put their hand in whatever pocket is closest to me. They're going to itch their eye to where I am located. Do you see what I'm saying? If they're brushing their hair to one side, it's the side that's closest to me. Do you see what I'm saying? I used to think this is all random, but it's, it's just to show where you are at any given time. You see how they get nervous? Look at this fucking fed. Look at this fed in the chat. Boring and gay. We know you're scared. You're scared your secret's getting out there. It's not going to fucking stop us. We're going to uncover the truth. Why don't you fuck off back to the government? All right, the people are learning. Am I making sense? Oh, also this? That's totally Masonic. It's an arch right there. So if someone's doing that, that's a that's like a Freemason thing. Get the fuck away from them, period. So let's let's run down this real quick. So if someone is walking up right and they're walking by my vehicle they're gonna put their hand in their left pocket especially if they're walking on the right side because that is where I am located they're signaling to whoever else where I am and uh, females they they love the hair thing they're gonna <laughs> that's how you know women are in on it when they start moving their hair clearly they're, they're deep cover. Let's see if James Harkin has more deep fucking insights into the world of gang stalking. Why they kill all the Freemasons? Oh, sounds interesting. Lots of Alex Jones on here, too. Gang stalking is community-oriented policing. Lots of how-to manuals on this fucking channel about what's up. Oh, let's see what his disclaimers... It's a whole fucking world of this shit. This dude has a lot of fucking videos. Oh, you know, maybe that's a better search term. Targeted individuals. Uh, they like that one. That's like their new PC term for crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so many videos of this shit. Targeted individuals went to the gym to shed the oppression and slay the dragon. I don't, is this a Jordan Peterson fan? What the fuck is this? She's talking about slaying dragons. I don't know if it'll be any good. We'll check it out. You can see she's slaying the dragons. All right. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Yvonne. Today is February the 19th of 2019, and pardon my zit that came out on my face, but, you know, it's rain or shine, it's zit or no zit. I'm here, you know, supporting you guys out there, whoever. Always a great way to start off a video. I like, I like it when women talk about their pimples. It's very sexy. Thank you, uh, you crazy fuck, for really going deep with us on this whole gang stalking thing and your acne. Probably another government conspiracy that we need to learn about holy shit <laughs> targeted individuals my witchcraft experience okay a government's using the dark arts now to target people this should be good yo you know what fuck it no i wasn't gonna speak on these things but man let me let me tell y'all a couple of my witchcraft stories for the year of 2018 so far so boom, something for y'all to understand, man. Um, it's important to eat out as le as less as you can possibly eat out. Sometimes with targeted individuals, it's easier said than done because you might not have a stable home, a stable kitchen to prepare your own meals, so you don't necessarily have a choice. And in order to eat healthy, sometimes you have to. You know, go to sleep. Why is she giving? I thought this was a video about witchcraft. Why, why is she talking about eating out? I had an incident happen to me, man. Uh, here we go. Um, earlier this year, I want to say in January of this year, I went into Chick-fil-A. I bought a chicken biscuit. Um, now here, 
is where the things start to get strange, man. This old ass white woman, she comes out, she had my chicken biscuit all perfectly wrapped, and she she, she handed it to me. She was like, "Here you go." You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I just took it as being a sweet old lady. Not to mention it's Chick Fil A, so everybody has a pretty positive attitude in Chick Fil A. So boom, ate the biscuit, whatever. Months later, I want to say probably in March. I was asleep in the back seat of my car and I had a dream. It was a bunch of Pleiadians and they were dressed like um <laughs> We're going from zero to sixty. Months ago this lady gave me a piece of chicken at Chick-fil-A. Who who to thunk, right? Gave me a piece of chicken and then months later I had a dream about what the fuck is a Palladian? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Like, you know, the, the Germans, uh, I don't know what these women are called, but the German ladies that wear the clog shoes. And they were like river dancing in this. <laughs> what? I ate some chicken and months later it gave me dreams about, <laughs> about German women in Danish shoes <laughs> line dancing. Old ass woman was standing in front of them doing the river dance with them, like in my dreams. And this thing like jumped on my head and tried to attack my head and was shaking my head and I woke up. So, what was... I've never heard of witchcraft which sends river dancing Nazis after you. <laughs> river dancing Nazi witchcraft from Chick-fil-A. What was revealed to me later on is that, well, not too much later on, you know what I'm saying, maybe within the next couple of days, man, uh, you know, that woman was trying to take over me. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was like her little demonic pet or whatever the case may be. But she was trying to take over me, basically. Um, in a sense, replace me, I guess you could say. Okay. Um, now, this one happened about three weeks ago. Um, now, I don't know if y'all remember the story I was telling y'all about the gentleman that I saw at the gas station that couldn't, couldn't control his tongue. This woman must like, lead an amazing life. But prior to me, you know, seeing that, you know, I felt like something was sitting in my car just sucking my energy off of me. And then when I look at him, you know, he's like trying to hide his face, you know. He looked at me and it hurry up and turned his face. Now... Um, I had an experience not too far from that gas station. I was asleep. And it was this being that was sitting on the front seat of my car. And it was like, I would, I was like, uh, going in between sleep. You know, I would wake up and go back to sleep. Wake up, go back to sleep. So this time that I ended up waking, I mean, going back to sleep. I, I think we need to do a poll on this. Uh, where are we here? <laughs> Which drugs is she using? Uh, let's, let's, uh, well, meth obviously has to be on the fucking list. Uh, crack, of course. We're having river dancing Nazis in our dreams. Something's going on. Uh, LSD, throw out a wild one. Uh, oh, of course, uh, Jankum. Can't forget that. That's a popular one. And uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe she's injecting marijuana. So let's let's find out, chat. What what is this crazy bitch on? All right, let's go back to her amazing river dancing Nazi story. This thing like turned around and stabbed me in the arm with some type of needle, you know, like some type of a demonic injection. You know what I'm saying? Um, which is crazy as hell. Um. Then I want to say a few nights later, you know, um, I wake up like I already had like something going on with one of my my tooth and it was like a crack in my tooth. So there was something that was like crack my tooth in my sleep. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's uh, maybe you're hitting that crack pipe too hard. Maybe <laughs> Have you considered maybe that's the issue? Maybe maybe when you're smoking the crack, you shouldn't be biting down on it. You know, maybe the 
pipe has shattered your shitty fucking teeth. Or it could be the witchcraft from Chick-fil-A. It's one of the two. Sometimes, man, when I'm getting attacked, like, I wake up in between and I can see these beings, like, fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Just like I told y'all about the story when them little fucking creatures tried to cut my fucking finger. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go with crack on this. You no, know, a lot of this shit sounds like fairy tales. It sounds like make-believe, man. But I want y'all to think about something real quick. Do y'all remember when it was late as fuck and Christ was the only one up out of all his disciples after he told his disciples to stay up? Uh, she's clearly insane, but she's also very... She's like living ambient. Like, I need, I need my crazy to be a little more high energy. I mean, I want to hear about I want to hear about witchcraft assaults. I mean, that's always good. But I need I need a little bit of oomph to it. Maybe we're hitting uh, we're hitting these videos when she's on her downtime in between in between smoke and rocks. I don't know. Oh, of course, melanin separate increase your prayer. Oh boy, she's woke all right. Are black men being emasculated? Ah, oh, where? Well, let's see the Bible. Watch out. More witchcraft. Oh, this is a short one. She's the victim again of witchcraft. Let's find out. Yo, another thing, y'all. Have y'all noticed that they've been pr promoting this witchcraft thing, like, a lot? And I give it take, man. It's a lot of people that have always known about witchcraft, man. Especially, like, in certain areas. Like, man, you go to the hood and you see these botanicas on every fucking corner. You best believe that show that neighborhood is with the shit. You know what? She's piqued my interest. Chat, should we see if we can find how do we ghetto witchcraft? Is that even a fucking thing that'll give us results? Let's find out. Ghetto witchcraft. <laughs> the ghetto witches of Macbeth. I I don't even know what the fuck that is. All right, let's let's see here. Oh, where are we going? All right, let's take a look. Y'all, um, we gonna meet up again because it might be storming. We need to see the gonna rain. Oh, that is fucking awful. All right, let's go to our boy, the Witch of Endor, for some ghetto gospel. These rappers know what they doing when they got you dancing and moving. They're putting spells on you, spells on you. Wake up, they're putting spells on you. And you wonder why your heart's so cold and you can't break because your mind's so frozen. They're putting spells on you, spells on you. Wake up, them putting spells on you. Judgment is so near, you can feel it in the air. Tell them Jesus Christ is coming, but no one really care. War is declared, good against evil. People wake up, them putting spells on you. Like I told y'all, whenever I go to preach this word, my spiritual days just be happening. You know what I mean? Like, It'd be I popping off. I had no signs, no symptoms, no nothing. Had this word bubbling, and the enemy just whoop. It was almost like a sudden flu like symptoms. That's how I know it wasn't natural. It was something in the demonic realm. Because you always get them little warning signs for a couple of days, and then it hits you. This joint just hit me late last night. It started hitting me on the way back from the birthday party, a little bit towards the end of it. I was like, what's going on here? But then I knew. And then to top it off, a brother, a uh, beloved soldier, fellow soldier and brother in the Lord from, uh, I believe, Missouri. I wonder if this is like the Christian version of black Israelites. Like, I'm used to them either being black Israelites or like Muslim. But like, this dude's going full on Christianity with hood magic. We're going to get a two and a half hour fucking lecture about ghetto witchcraft. Because they're putting spells on his ass. Uh, he called me up. He was like, yeah, bless me. And I'm like, oh, we, we about to get into the word. And he was telling me how he had to leave the church that he was temporarily visiting because the pastor was doing some like hip hypnosis stuff. You know what I mean? Some weird stuff. 
like trying to like bewitch the people. And I knew that was confirmation about today's word. So, um, with that being said, the name of today's sermon, and I know why I get every single time I go to preach his word. Remember the last two times we tried. Uh, you're right, Chet. He is very short. If that guitar is standing up, if it's like sitting on the floor, I mean, the guitar is like, what, three and a half feet? And, you know, his head's up about here. So I see this dude's like four feet, four and a half feet tall. Maybe maybe that's why they're casting spells on him. They're trying to get him to grow a little. Hallelujah. But God is, is victorious. Amen. And the reason why the attacks come is because witchcraft is one of the biggest enemies, if not the biggest enemy in America right now. Okay, so the name of the sermon is called The Witch of Endor. The Witch of Endor. We're going to get right into it, y'all. So, there's a lot of areas, and I'm asking God for wisdom, especially when I do sermons that involve videos and stuff. I don't want He actually has an audience for this. I thought it was just a dude in his living room filming this shit by himself, but he's got people paying to sit there and listen to it. But I don't have two and a half hours for this shit. Let's skip ahead a little and see, let's see some of this witchcraft. So you want discernment so you can know people around you. You know how many people get people laying hands on them from ministries that are warlocks, devil worshippers? Do you think it's not a coincidence? I don't believe in coincidence. Paul the Apostle said, lay hands suddenly on no man. Because he knew a lot of y'all will be moved by the soulless realm. You go to a church, you look around, it's lighted up, it's clean. Now what you think that did to everyone in the stand? The I could hear the screaming of about 40 bastards in this audience. How many single mothers brought their kids here? just to avoid paying daycare bills. And listen to this crazy fucker talk about witchcraft on some Jedi planet. I looked at the husband like, you better not be cheap today. This man just gave a million. You better cut a thousand. You better, doctors, you better get 10,000. It was witchcraft. And then what happened? Tyler Perry laid hands on T.D. Jakes. And T.D. Jakes fell out just, oh! Shaking, why? Because Tyler Perry is filled with the Holy Ghost. Holy shit. Two and a half hours of that. I bet that dude does that every day. All right. Come on, Jim. This is a good one. All right. Let's see what this one is. Uh, hopefully it's following some kind of theme. I don't know. What is this shit? Spirit of Truth. What the fuck is this? Just give a little bit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I had this lined up for the fucking uh, public access TV one I was going to do. I know what this is. Uh, for another day. All right, let's, let's, uh, what the fuck is this? Let me just read the remaining Super Berries here. Wrap up a little early. From Odio Strau, someone should make YouTube videos like they are Gang Stalker and point out random people while saying, that's him, see, that sign he's giving me. I can tell our targets are doing such and such. If you really wanted to have fun and fuck with these people, which I'm not advocating for, I'm just speaking hypothetically now, but if you wanted to have fun, because they're so convinced cars work in groups and the colors are signals that they're working for the government, go make, go make a fucking Reddit account and call yourself like red car number eight or some random number after a colored car and then go post there, but just say nonsensical shit and drive their paranoia through the roof. Just walk into a random thread and just type out something like oxygen levels are 89% now. And don't say anything else. Don't respond to anybody else. If they got if they got hundreds of users doing that, all named after a color of an automobile, they'd probably, they'd probably lose their fucking minds. Uh, bites the dust do. You will never suck your girlfriend's penis. La le lu le lo. Timothy Reaper, what does it mean when someone raises their middle finger in your direction? Uh, clearly, they're calling the satellite down on you. From Calstro, Winfried went on sped dating and lost. What a faggot. From Dark Horse 24, gang stalking victims equal the highest form of egocentrism. Wields the chain. 
I'm glad I showed up late. These gang stalking morons give me a fucking headache. From Pongo. Hey, hot potato. I'm the incarnation of Ringo Starr transitioning into Dave Lombardo. It's easy to spot me. I'm dressed as the thing you hate most. From Makuta Lakuruk. Are you smoking at me? Dark Horse 24 again. She's just upset Sargon didn't see her bring the appetizers on time. From Audio Strau. Uh, chat, if you find someone like this in San Diego, I will go fuck them. Or go fuck with them. Signed, Odie. From Justice Moderator. You don't have to read this out loud. Oh, uh, there's, there's, you tag something uh, surprising on Twitter, okay? From Calstro. Fuck you, Winfred. Or Winfred. Uh, for outing me as a gym viewer, sorry, not sorry. From Calstro. War bros, strong like ox, we carry our burden to victory. War bros, like broom, we sweep away the competition. From Galacticus, uh, the female version of Tonka. I know you piqued my interest with that. I don't even know what the fuck that would be. <laughs> I, I, why do I have a feeling I'm going to open it up? It's going to be some disabled woman challenging people to fights. Well, let's let's take a look really quick. Okay, I, I don't even know what this is, but we'll watch it. I'll put it up after I finish this. Uh, Beige Balcony. Do these crazies get any support on their videos, or are they just go at this insanity by their lonesome selves? I, they get support from their own little fucking communities and forums. Like, they feed off each other. Some spurg. Stop counting your shekels and get back to your video, faggot. From Sargon of No Kid, here's another one for you, Jimbo. And I think, okay, we're caught up. So let's take a look at the female version of Tonka. I have no idea what this is, but uh, maybe it maybe it's good. We'll find out. How can I be fake, Ellie King, if that's your real fucking name? All the pictures is of me. All the videos is of me and my mom, Cindy. You see that lady right there behind me? Though that's my mom, Cindy. So see, I am not fake, you ugly looking bitch. Holy shit, it really is a female version of Donga. Oh, yeah, Cindy. you ugly monkey. Go climb on that. I, I know the train. Jump off on the other. It's even got a female version of failure. Oh, you tell him failure. You tell him. On the other side. Next time if you harass my daughter, she will get you on her ass. One, I am pregnant with my son, Frederick Jr. Yeah. I'll be five months tomorrow, and he's kicking the shit out of me right now. Yeah. My dad died three weeks ago tomorrow at 6, 18 a.m. Yeah. My husband's real. He's in the living room watching TV. He doesn't like drama. Why think I'd delete him in the first play off my fucking count? Right. But it's literally failure telling him. Every time female Donga says something, they chime in. I have him under my family page. Yeah. <laughs> you moron. And in 2000, and back in 2000, I was 12 years old, turning 13. 2005, I was 19, turning 20. I was born in 1986. I should know how old I was in all them stupid pictures of me. Since they're my fucking pictures. Yeah. This is not a wig. It's fucking real. If it was a wig, it will fucking come off right about now. Yeah. I died in <laughs> I love it. That's all she chimes in with. Yeah. You tell, you tell him. You tell him, Tonka. Yeah. Black. You like my shirt? It says Mount Vernon because that's where, because that's where I actually live. Hometown. I lied. Said I lied in Springfield when I didn't. Yeah. My brothers, Jackson and Daniel, they're fucking dead. Also, Daniel was my twin. In case you guys didn't know, he died at three days old. A smallpox. We both had it. He died and I survived. Who the fuck dies of smallpox in the modern era? Did I hear that right? Did she fucking say your family got wiped up by smallpox? A smallpox. We both had. This is legitimately the female Tonka. Her relatives even die from Native American. <laughs> Somebody gave him a blanket. That's how he died. He died and I survived. My brother Jackson died at the age of 27. In a car wreck. Last year, on his birthday, this year, August 2nd, he'd be 28. My sister Lucy is not fake either. She's real. And she turned 14 October 14th. Will she be 15th this October? Yeah, I'm going to post you with an honor camping trip. We'll leave her alone. And then you need my family alone also. <laughs> you fucking moron. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you <laughs> she's so drunk right now. She's hiccuping in the middle of her rant. Awful. 
you fucking <laughs> This is fucking gold. Oh, if this is this is either the best, uh, the highest art of acting you'll see on YouTube, or it is. It's like a. It's the incarnation of every tra fucking stereotype of a trailer park. Standing low, awful. You fucking moron. You Mikey Staley. Oh, and my Aunt Donna, my Grandma Millie Staley, and my Aunt Margaret. Them dead pictures of them. Well, them are. They are dead also, and they're not fake. I should know. I was in their rooms when they died. Yeah, and I was too. But we don't like to kiss her ass. So wait till my son turns a year old. Me and my husband will be, will be pregnant again. Yes, I am 24. She's 53. And she is... Is this from a live stream? Or is this person... Oh, I got it. I have to fucking see what this is. Apparently the daughter, uh, Ashley, was trolled and told she was fake. Then she and her mother, Cindy, give a brief rundown of the family ages, dates, and other information to prove she is an actual human being. There's just so much wrong in the video. I can't. Okay, there. I, I hope there's more videos of this check. Not eighty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you don't like a KMA. By the way, she does wear a fucking bra. She has one on right now. I don't have one. Right oh, Grandma, what are you doing? Put it back down. Fuck. Look at these things. They're sagging in a bra. <laughs> They're resting on her gunt. These things would be bouncing off her fucking knees like party favors if she didn't strap that up with fucking uh, <laughs> body wraps. <laughs> Your chest is up here, lady. Your tits are down here. I wouldn't be lifting the shirt up. Right now? I don't have on right now because I don't sleep with the bra on at night. Let's see anything else. Oh, a penis is too alive. He's not dead. No, I did not run him over. Somebody needs to run over your ugly face and snatch it. So, Ellie Keen, how the hell can I edit out my voice? I don't know how to edit videos like this, you dumb, super looking bitch. Moron. So, answer my fucking question. How am I fake when all the videos and photos is of the same person that is me? And Cindy was in two of them. Yeah, you little whore. <laughs> yeah, you fucking skank. Yeah, you little whore. You fucking moron. Now go back to the go. Fucking morons. <laughs> well, grandma's not taking it. Look at my tits. They sag to my knees. Oh, please tell me there's more. I have to. I'm gonna look at this account. Let me see if there are more videos of this fucking psychopath. Oh, there's only one video. Really? If anybody does, anybody have more videos of this amazing woman? Because <laughs> I need to see more videos of this. Just incredible fucking couple of people. Oh, let me look. Let me see if I can find some. Oh, somebody has the user account? Oh, please tell me this is actually their user account. Holy shit, it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, she looks like she has Down syndrome. Okay, all right, we got some we got some videos to watch. Uh, there's only uh, there's like nine of them, but we'll <laughs> take a look. Ashley Gay attempt intimidation expertly. I don't even know what the fuck this is. All right, let's let's just um. Oh, I can see them both in this one. Let's take a look wire up. God damn it. Hold on one second. Internet's crapping out on me. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Alright, sorry, chat. A technical issue is one moment. Just one moment. But yes, we found the account. Thank God. And there looks to be some shit on there. So, we can watch this. Let me get rid of these. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Apparently, they were on Tosh.0. So there you go. Uh, here we are. Hello, you turd faces, monkey bitches. Why is everyone always giving me a hard time? Why does people keep saying that I look like a boy when I clearly have tits 
a coochie, earrings, and wear girls' clothes. Yeah. And this here... It really is... It's spooky how much Tonka like this is. Just shit talking, and then he got failure chiming in. Yeah! Here is not a bow cut. Say, my... That haircut has to be one of my best friend's hairstyle. Hair she is so fucking drunk. This old lady is so shit-faced. I don't even think she's aware of where she is right now. She's, she probably is just... She's gone. She's not three sheets of the wind. She's 400 sheets of the wind. <laughs> she probably... She probably uses the extra space in her bras that have been fucking stretched out from her hanging tits to hide flasks of alcohol. You know, a couple bottles in there, a few beer cans. Nobody's going to know Grandma's tits. They're, they're already sagging down there. It's going to look natural. Hair stylist. Cuts. Cuts. And if you don't like it, well, that's your problem. Now, if you don't like this, fuck off. Monkey morons. Oh, matter of fact, I seen one of your relatives the other day jumping from a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Am I a monkey morons jumping from a tree? Mmm, bitches. <laughs> the fucking dog attacks her. <laughs> Even the animals. <laughs> I thought it was a challenge for dominance. Canine. <laughs> he hate that fucking sound. So, so did he get your bitch your shirt? My shirt. It's okay, sweetie. That dog does not tolerate retardation. <laughs> she starts look at her. Starts going on her drunken rat. The dog rips her face off. Mm, bitchy. <laughs> he has to hold it back and wants to rip her fucking head off. Oh, okay. Let's we're we'll watch some more of these. All right, let's Ashley gay attempts. I don't I don't know what a gay attempt is, but let's take a look. Kelly, just for the record, my cousin was here and he watched the video that you put. How you're gonna shove your deodorant up my mom's crotch? That you're going to insult her with a pen? My mama heard what you said about shoving, shoving deodorant up her cunt. Mama doesn't smell down there. We use a hose in the yard to wash mama off. Mama gets drunk on whiskey. And we just, we wash her off like she's a car. He was actually watching the video. And he brought his laptop here. And he got your IP address. So now, in the next couple of days, he's going to be coming to your house. So get prepared to get a knock on your junkie door. They've super hacked them. We've got your IP address, champ. We know what trailer you're living in. We're going to send Mama down there. Tell him, Mama. Yeah, monkey face. Lucy is not a rapist. She's only 13 for crying out loud. And I'm not a pedophile. And who cares if she had a picture of Hannah Montana? Did you ever something think that Hannah Montana slash Miley Cyrus is a lot prettier than you? At least she ain't a cunt. And I bet you anything that you had on Lucy's... Yes, they are very unnatural eyes. I think I think once you smoke a certain amount of meth, your face gets permanently stuck like this. And what if you watch her shake her head? Her eyes don't move. It's like she photoshopped them on top of herself. Paige and fucking every time where she could not get back on it. Are you seeing that? What the fuck kind of trailer park magic is that? The, the eye just stays there. She can shake her head and it doesn't move. You have a fucking bow haircut. You need to take off that 50 cent wig and show everybody your true baldness that you really are. Ava, what's the fucking video that you promised how you was going to upload it? Never got it. You can hear the fucking dog getting ready to go for a second go at them. Born, your video was shit. I don't have a unibrow, I don't have a mustache, and I don't have a bow haircut. So you can keep my face and my mom's face off your junkie potato. By the way, that Justin Bieber song, you didn't write that. He did. A reflection on what? What is it reflecting off of? The inside of her glasses? 
<laughs> reflection from what? And he can sing it 100% better than you can. By the way, you wrote on that piece of paper for your plane tickets. So don't be lying. Here in America, our plane tickets comes in a box. You're just jealous because we Americans are a lot prettier than you England people. So, bye, here's Cindy. Hi, I'm Cindy, I'm Ashley's mom. I was about to say to Kelly, Ava, and the rest of the girls, Ashley is telling the honest God's truth. She You're not going to fool me, chat. They've bewitched you with their beauty. That's how trailer park witches do it. I understand, you're under their spell. I'll pray for you, I'll go back to that black preacher man and have him say a prayer for you. Sarah got her plane tickets, and I, I and I, all I got to say, we don't know where she's going or how long she's going to be gone. All we know, now we're going to be with her on her journey trip. And, Kelly, if you ever come towards me, you wish you was never born. Because like Ashley said, get prepared get, to get a knock on your door by my cousin. Bye, you little whore. You ugly dog. So while like Kevin is tracking your IP address, I think I better get past him. Because I'm coming to your house, and I'm going to show your mom everything that you said about me and my family. And I hope she beats the living shit right out of you. Yeah. So <laughs> she, I love how she chimes in. Yeah. Go back in your bedroom and go fuck more, because we all know that you and her did fuck on the beach. And get prepared to be crying. So bye, you ugly whore. Oh, these people are magical. Oh, let's let, find out more of what's going on in this ongoing drama. Yeah, this video goes to all them whores on Facebook. This is Cindy, and I'm Ashley. Cindy? Hi. Georgia? You're talking about my knees, and I don't appreciate that one bit. How would you feel if I talk about your family members like that and call them nasty names? Saying, oh, they got raped. Oh, they're, they're a whore. You know what? I, I can care less about your fucking family and anyway, bitch. Why would I want to rape my own cousins when I can get some from my husband, Fred? What a bizarre conversation to be having with somebody on Facebook. No, you don't understand. I don't need to rape anybody. I've got a husband. Like, how did this conversation even come about? How does that How does that even get broached? I'm not that way. I don't go around and I don't touch little kids. At least my daddy is not a fucking fake model. Yeah, hey, and you're talking about my husband. I think you don't know my family members. You don't know them. You have never seen them. So shut the fuck up. In other words, make a bridge and get over it. And my husband don't have boobs either. And my boobs are not sandbags. <laughs> my my husband doesn't have tits and my heart sandbags. God, that fucking haircut. I bet they really did cut this bitch's hair with a bowl. Like that that line going around her head like that, this is a bowl cut. This is an old fashioned poor person bowl cut. And I think you can't understand her partially because she's drunk, but also because her dentures have become so loose they're pushing out on her top lip. Look at that. I have boobs either. My boobs are not sandbags. They're not saggy. I'm not a dirty whore. I'm not innocent and I ain't no fucking pedophile. So fuck you. Yeah, George, that goes for me too. If you don't like this, lump it. In other words, make a wrench and get over it. Fucking blown the fuck out. You don't know who you're fucking with. You make a bridge and you get over it. Mama's spoken. <coughs> mm hmm Yeah. I'm bringing with my daughter all the way. 100%. 100%. You can't fuck with us. Apparently they did fuck with them because the videos just stop. Hey, I'm Cindy. I'm Ashley's mom. And I don't appreciate it. Why bad are you little fucking whores? And little son of a bitch, who do you think you are by going on making a video, a video of me and my daughter? How dare you? Next time, you guys will be reported into the authorities.
Because I got two cousins who are cops and they are here right now walking up the door and they got your video on the cam. The police have your YouTube videos. It's over. Guys, it's over. The cops have the evidence. They know about the YouTube videos. They got the IPs from super hackers. Super hackers that live in the trailer park. It, it's done, boys. Cindy and her mom have won. So, you know what they all, so, you know what they all say? Lump it. Okay. And also, one more thing before I close off. When it's time I can find my daughters, Ashley and Lucy. Next time, I'm going to make some stomach fun of your fucking ugly ass and retarded bitch's asses. You slut, bastard, sharp, and another thing, don't be making fun of my brothers either. Yeah. They're just my brothers. <coughs> they're not my dad. They're not my cousins. They're not my uncles. And they're not my husband. So shut up. My dad is not a fucking horse. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? What? Why would you even need to say that? Fucking horse. Fucking horse. My dad is not a fucking horse. And gee, I didn't know horses could drive a truck and work. And I didn't know my big fat pig look mama can do all that shit also. And <laughs> my dad is a horse and my mom is a pig. And I'm not llama. Let them I check, llamas don't have periods. So fuck you, you oversized cows. Moo hoo hoo. And by the way, I can afford lots of stuff. I get my check tomorrow. And guess we buy a plane ticket that comes to your dumb asses. Me. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, somebody in chat said this is back when trolling was more pure, uh, apparently. Hey, yo, witches. Yeah, run those bitches. You little sluts. You little whore. You little tramps. Your daddy got saggy boobies. Ha 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 ha. And next time in my hair that you're going to square my son in law, you're full of shit. Because he comes with you. This woman's fucking blood is like 20 proof. She's so drunk, you can't even make out what mumbling shit she's tried to say. <laughs> it's just perfect. What's your fucking asses? You ugly dogs. Hey, Amber. Your daddy has a rotten old dick that's getting ready to fall off, and you better go suck it. Yeah, I think you might go to the hospital because your grandma just passed away. Boy, that's some funny shit hanging. Your grandma died. <laughs> I guess she looked at your face too long and died. Yeah. I guess your face killed herself. Yeah. Hey, Amber, how's your mom's nasty tuna pussy? Yeah, and this gonna be a mean. These insults are amazing. I guess your face killed itself. How's your mama's tuna pussy? Llamas don't get periods. I'm not an idiot. Back to years. Did you have to use a spoon just eat her tuna out of her pussy? Or did you have to use a skeleton to walk her ass with? <laughs> So how does the crap taste come out of your mom's bloody pig or your pussy? Why? Have you been looking at it? She has the drunkest laugh. I really love this old crazy bitch. She's just... She just doesn't... Uh... Hey, you with the glasses. <laughs> yeah. So how was your mama's pussy? <coughs> Less than I heard. An ugly doll came out of it. Oh, I'm sorry, that was you. Yeah, I heard a, a stinky ass sound, but like Amber came out of her mama's coochie. <laughs> so, Amber and your little four eyed faggoty friend, make another video. I double dog dare you. Yeah, I double dog. Yeah, I double dog. I double dog triple dare you. So, when you guys make. Yeah, Grandma, get it out there. I double, I double, 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 double dog dare you. Yeah, I double dog. I double dog triple dare you. So when you guys make one, we sexy bitches will make one. That's right. Including this little geeky motherfucker right back here. And also, if you don't like it, make a bridge and get over it. Oh, yeah. By the way, <clears throat> Amber, my dog has fleas. I'm sure I'll mail you some. Yeah. For, for your ugly dog friends.
I have Bye. I have banana and a cucumber. I'll send that to you too, so you can use that on each other's pussies. Yeah, and have one egg stick in your ear. Just don't let the crabs eat it on the way up to your pussy. <laughs> That's a good one. So, fuck you. <laughs> they just play off. Yeah, that's a good one. You really got her, Ashley. Need some help? Fuck you, too. <laughs> hey, Peanuts. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, Peanuts. <gasps> Come here, Peanuts. <laughs> that fucking dog hates them. Come here, Peanuts. <gasps> Come here, Peanuts. This here is <laughs> Peanuts, and he's the and he's the meanest little son of a bitch ever. But he loves me, so he's not mean to me. But he gets mean to you. And Amber, he wants to show you and your little faggoty friend something, okay? <laughs> Say, suck my dick! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is with these people? These are two of the ugly females. Kelly, Lauren, the other girl who fucked up my video, and how, how you pronounce her name. I'm sick of you girls asking me to make you a fucking video. So I decided to make you the longest, rudest, nastiest video I can think of. So get prepared to have this video long. Kelly, I just called Kmart again. The only Kelly Benton they have is a girl with black hair. And I called Melbourne Township High School. There is no Kelly Benton that works there because my aunt is a damn teacher there. I love how she's, like, doing the work. Like, she hates this bitch so much, she's calling up Kmart's to find out if she really works there. So she can one-up her in her response videos. I call Kmart, you don't work there. I call Walmart, you don't work there either, Killian. Lion bitch. Look at my dog's penis. I'm not a llama. So why don't you just quit your fucking lying and come out and tell the truth for once in your fucking life? Me and you, we didn't have sex on the beach. Because one, I don't like you. Two, I can't stand your fucking good. Three, you're, you're, you are the ugliest, nastiest fucking whore I ever seen. And, and what, and the last one, do you think Ira will fuck you? I'd rather fuck with Rosie than you. At least you don't have crabs. Or lies. Or AIDS. Or gonorrhea coming out of her damn pussy like you do. Lauren, you need to take off your fucking wig. I mean, hell, I know... She's got a whole fucking list of people. And she's just going through it roasting them. You don't work at Kmart, you got gonorrhea. And Lauren, bitch, let me tell you something. Put your ball on the knees, but... Don't be ashamed of your bald, or your baldness, where you gonna fucking pronounce it. The girl who fucked up my video. You don't have a dick. If you did, you sure, you sure in the hell don't know what to do with one, just like play with it. So, Kelly, you said that you're a road in Mount Vernon Township High School? Prove it. Take a picture of your school teacher and I will know her. Take a picture of all the employees that came on and post them on your Facebook. I will know every one of them too. Since I used to work there on the night shift. Clean. She's, she's, I want to know where you work. I'm going to dox every employee, employee of Kmart. I'm going to find out who the fuck you are. I'm going to find out who you are, bitch. I'm going to go through the roster of employees and I'm going to find your ass. Mm-hmm. Here's Cindy. Let Cindy say something now. Hi, I'm Cindy. I'm Ashley's mom. And Kelly, yeah. Laura, and the Japanese girl, I think you better back the fuck off. Leave Ashley alone, because when my daughter did call, did call Kmart and talk to Jody and Sandra, and there is no Kelly Bennett who works there, so you know what you can do with it? Take this job and shove it, because I know you're lying. And now one more thing, if anybody's got pineria, or whatever it's called, it's you three monkeys. So back the fuck off, leave that shit alone, 
or you guys will be reported in again. Goodbye. I, I have to know what who fucked with these people. Was this some like was there like some dedicated uh, group on B that was fucking with them for a week or something? Or where does this originate from? Because I get the feeling they were impersonating people in their trailer park and then screwing with them for a while and getting nonstop reactions. Yeah, one more thing. If you just could build the Kmart, prove it. And I, and the Marvin Township High School also. Take a picture of all the buildings, you little weasel bitch. <coughs> Gotta call my cuz. <laughs> she's she's doing she's pulling a zoom before zoom did it she, she's calling employers live on fucking camera to find out if this bitch works at Kmart my battery so it means I gotta charge it hey Crystal what's Kevin doing oh okay there you bye Kevin decided to make a Facebook account uh, I went off and told him everything what you girls have been saying. And you want to know something else? He's a cop. That's right. I have two cousins, two uncles, and two aunts. That's cops. Boy. Holy shit, that's another Dongaism. She's telling everybody about all her law enforcement relatives. You better not fuck with me. All right, I got cousins that are cops. And I got, I got other family members, I'm sure she'll say, that are in the FBI. Wouldn't Wait you for guys it. love to be me? Yep, and get ready to feel stupid. What the hell with your fucking bullshit? Exactly. Cut me down, cut my little sister down. Talk about my dad, bro, it's like they're dogs. They haven't done a goddamn thing to you. Lucy is only 13 years old. Leave her alone. She's not a rapist either. Hell, she's only 13 for crying out loud. Exactly. Daniel's 24. He died 24 years ago. So how the hell can he be a rapist when, he, when he's been in the ground for 20 <laughs> just They're fucking trolling him, telling him all their family members are rapists, and she's getting angry about it. How could my little cousin, she's only 12, how could she be a rapist? <laughs> this guy, my other cousin, couldn't possibly rape anybody. He's been dead for a quarter of a century. 24 years. Yeah. Jackson died last year by a drunk driver on his way home from work. Yeah. So how the hell can he be a rapist when he had a girlfriend? And he got all the pussy he wanted. So I actually did walk in. Then they was fucking in my bed. Yeah. And I do have a picture of him and his girlfriend. That's right. And she's ten times prettier than you are, Kelly. Oh, God, this is... There's so many videos. What is this? This is the last one she did. Uh, comes clean about some discrepancies with her famous videos. Have we been all... Have we been fooled? Has this been... A, have we been on a ruse cruise? Let's find out. Well, now you guys know the truth about me. There you go, Ebony. I came clean. The truth about me and my family was nothing but a lie. What? What? What was the lie? <laughs> These are. Oh, here we go. There's a post. Oh, there's a lot of posts. Let's read from Ashley. Post number one. Hey, everyone. I lied about everything. I don't have any brothers or a sister. I don't have any kids. My dad is not dead, and my mom is not a cop. Now, my marriage to my husband, now that's real. I don't live in a two-story house, but I do live in a house. Oh, and I'm not pregnant. Post number two. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah, I did lie. Big deal. Everyone lies. Three things wasn't a lie. I do have a husband. I do live in a house. And I do have an attic. Real important we know that one. 
but my attic is above my toilet. I only said that I had a son and daughter with twins because I don't think I can get pregnant. I only said that my dad was dead so everyone can stop calling me names. I only said that my mom is a cop to put a little scare into you freaks. I'm even skinny. I'm 185 pounds. <laughs> Who cares if I'm fat? I don't care and neither should you. Yeah, I'm ugly, but I don't care if I'm ugly or not. I'm happy with the way I fucking look. So if you don't like it, feel free to delete me. Because I won't care if you did or not. Block me for all I care. It won't bother me. All my names you want to call me, it won't bother me either. I'm used to being called names. All my family has called me awful names. But after years that went by, the name calling doesn't bother me no more. So help yourselves. Call me names in my book. Send me awful letters, Ebony. Jade has already posted my address all over my Facebook page. Oh, boy. Nothing you can say or do will bother me. Like I said, I'm used to it. So knock yourself out and have fun. This is why we love this woman to death. Yeah, it's basically, I do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell him, Cindy. I love your videos. Keep making it. Okay, if it's... I No, I don't think it's... This is... I don't know what she's... She must have told people, like, she lied about having kids. That's what she's talking about. But being a fucking retarded, drunken trailer park <laughs> slut, that's real. I live in a house. Don't you dare think I don't live in a house. My attic is above my toilet. It's always been my dream to become famous. When I was a little girl, when I was going to horseman school, we had to play for the whole entire school. And of course, I was shy. She looks like a dude. This looks like an awkward teenage boy with a really bad haircut. And look at the size of her skull. It's like, it's from the bottom of the hair to the very top. It's like three inches. It looks like somebody caved their fucking head in. With a sledgehammer. But when it was my turn to read my lines, I forgot all about being shy. I went up there, read my lines, and when the play was over, everyone at the school stood up and they applauded for us. It wasn't just applause. Wow, this must be. How old is this? 2013. So, this maybe this is the origin of, and everybody stood up and clapped. Maybe that's where that pasta comes from, is this story. Everybody in the auditorium stood up and clapped. Did they, Ashley? All right, we got one more video. It's a short one. Let's take a look. Make a video. Here. I'll tell Jack that I need his help. Uh, I'm making a video. Oh, you want to smash your pass? Pull? I'll give you one. <laughs> give you one. Asking the real questions. Do you want to? Do you want to fuck the female Dylan Roof? Is that is that what we're doing? All right. Okay, let's start that poll up. There you go, chat. I'll let you. I'll let you. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me. Well, you know what? There you go. I, you can get the basic idea of this sexy woman. Seen a lot of a lot of smashes, a lot of hard, a lot of hard smashes. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go with pass on this one personally, but don't let me influence your votes. It's uh, closer than it should be. I'll put it at that. We'll find out where you stand on uh, Trailer Park Princess here. Ashley and Cindy. God damn. I have a feeling there were a lot more videos than those. I bet you these chicks made a bunch of videos. And we're only looking at the nine that for whatever reason remained up. That's kind of sad. Wish I wish those were saved.
All right. I Amazing. 135 of you would smash this. There are 135 very horny people in chat right now that would... 142, it's going up. It shouldn't be going... Why is this going up? Stop voting smash. I don't think you understand. That's a dude. That's a dude pretending to be a chick. Pretending to have a husband. Pretending that that husband is in fact not a horse. Well, now you're just voting to spite me. <laughs> That's what you're up to now. Okay. Wow. Oh, for anybody that wants to watch these on your own time, uh, let's see. Oh, maybe this is a re-upload. This might actually be a re-upload, but... The channel name is Very Mad Ladies with a Z. So Very Mad is one word, space, ladies, uh, L-A-D-Y-Z. Uh, they've got a collection of videos up there. Maybe people mirrored more of their videos. I don't know. Uh, it's good shit, though. Good shit. Nice uh, choice from the person that sent that recommendation in. All right, I'm going to read the remaining Super Berries, and then I will play some outro, and I'm going to go play some Metro, because fuck, that game is fun. From AIDS Baby, Ladyboy Donga. From Medicar Fembot, laugh my ass off. She So she lies about absolutely everything like Donga. Also, TLDR on the Donga stream I'm clipping. Donga is so crappy, Kraut's people started freaking out and demanded he get off the stream, or they would leak all his scripts. I could believe it. From Cos Miller, have you heard of the Congolese space program called Troposphere 5? Uh, no, I have not. Guns down in hail. <clears throat> Sorry. Guns down in hail. If you hear her mom talk and you close your eyes and imagine Christian, it's him. Just try it. The Crawl Space. Hey, Jim. Take a look at this video from Spurg from the Resident Evil community known as Grace Sanders on Ed. Uh, we'll take a look at it next stream. From Rogue Fragment. Wish my Polsky friend luck getting Asian pussy. Uh, best of luck getting some Asian pussy. From Kaiser Split Dick. This video right here. Again, from Kaiser Split Dick. Uh, end with this, please. Now, if it's a good song, maybe. Let me take a look. What is this? <laughs> uh, I'll save that for a special ending. Medicare Fembot. Self-promotion. Donga had a bit where Alex aped in the show as you. Have a view and feel the cringe. I'll take a look later on. Odio Strau. Someone should make YouTube videos like they are a gang stalker. Okay, and this is, we're back to the, back to the beginning. All right, chat. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, morning streams are usually just me watching shit that I find an interest in. I definitely found an interest in the trailer park shit. Uh, I've got a good collection of Twitch stuff. We were going to do that today, but I want to have more before I actually do it. So that'll probably be tomorrow. We'll look at Twitch streamers getting raided and fucked with. Uh, after watching that Aussie get banned off Twitch because people kept screaming the hall isn't real, <laughs> I wanted to watch more of it. So what should the outro song be? I need to get a bigger selection, I'll be honest with you. But I, I think I've got the perfect video. Have a good day. Enjoy the weather if you're in an area of the United States that is not under 30 feet of snow. And I will see you Friday.